Well, we're here doing it. Uh, there is a difference between my, um, like when I monitor things and the way that it comes out in Twitch. So I adjusted the audio to better reflect that, and I hope it's okay, but you know, I'm trying. <laughs> Anyway, let's uh, let's get back into it. We were playing uh, Valhalla, VA11 Hall A, a cyberpunk bartender action, whatever. Um, I screwed up last time a little bit in that I um, skipped over some stuff. I. For the most part, it's just the articles, which are relatively short, uh, you know, in the augmented eye. So hopefully that's not too awful. But uh, right now we're, you know, basically just ready to start. Uh, I'm going to give it a, a second just to clean up some stuff. Anyway, um, I tweaked some audio settings, so hopefully I don't sound too quiet. Uh, that was definitely a concern going into this. I spent like most of the weekend adjusting my audio settings to be better, significantly better than previous streams. I think I've done a pretty good job of that. Um, it's just a matter of whether or not it's good in comparison to like what I'm putting out. So we'll, uh, you know, we're doing what we can. Um. <laughs> Anyway, I did some warm-ups before this, so hopefully I am better prepared, whoop, better prepared for the voice acting that I'm going to be doing today. So let's, uh, like, yeah, let's just hop into the game. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What to play, what to play. I'm gonna start with a completely fresh playlist this time because I, I don't know. I felt like I played a lot of the same songs last time. I like this one. I mean, I like all the songs, honestly, they're so good. I think that's a funny little, uh, basically the opposite of what the, the stream title is. I, I'm just like... I wish I spent the time to just listen to every single song so I knew exactly which one was which before I uh, put anything in. Um, Skyline and Dusk. I mean, also the titles just like, do they really suggest what the things are? I'm not sure. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, and that one. Okay. Ah, oh, boss, you're back. Yeah, sorry about not being here earlier. What were you doing? I had a brief meeting with my BTC regional manager. Oh, everything all right? As all right as it can be, considering that we're closing eventually. Wait, we are? I know they were worried about closing, but really? Like, that seems even kind of sad for, you know. When will that happen? Because, you know, rent. I don't know. See, she's got a stern face on, so maybe I should be doing her voice a bit more seriously. I don't know. 
Brian said that we'll be safe for a few months while the paperwork is filled and everything's being put in order. Oh? I was also talking to him about you. About me? Yeah, I was telling him to do whatever it takes to ensure you don't spend too much time without a job. Aww, what a, what a kind boss. They know, like, definitely strikes me as the type of boss to be like, like, we're talking anime tropes here, like the knowing, like, talented boss who just, like, takes care of everything. If possible, to reassign you ASAP after closing. Hey, if it helps, Brian might be the angriest of us all. They want to close the only bar in the whole area that hasn't given me any headaches, he said. <sighs> what about Jill? He's the one that worries me the most, actually. He's kind of working using the credentials of another guy that was working here before. Who? The one who bought a levitation potion and then threw himself off a building? Ah yes, the levitation potion story. You use weird euphemisms, boss. Anyway... I find it hard to believe that Jill will find a job after all this. Just who is Jill? I have an idea of who he is, but I'm still putting pieces together. Anyway, back to work. Imminent closure is no excuse to slack off. Yes, sir. You guys do know I can hear you, right? And a voice we've never in a yeah, never heard before, so um This place looks familiar. Ah, cat lady. Okay, how do I do? That? Excuse me. Is this the VA11 Hall A bar? Oh. Oh, there's a log. Wow, you can scroll through it. Okay. It is indeed. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh god, what is Say planning now? Oh! I've been- this whole time, whenever I tell my friends about the game, I always default to Say P. Asagiri's voice when I'm giving an example of what I sound like. <laughs> Excuse me? Right, so this is the classy friend, so I'm gonna adjust my voice to do that. I want a drink whose name was changed after many win protested. Can you get me that? Sure. The lead actor... No, no. Um, I know... One of these... Is the one. I'm pretty sure it's the piano man... Uh, piano woman. Yeah, this one. This one, for sure. Okay, so does she need a heavy dose or just the regular? One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Aged and mixed. All right, here you go. Very nice, thanks a lot. So, you know Say, Miss... I'm Stella Hoshi. My pleasure. Yeah, I know her. She's been here before, yes? Yep. In fact, I'm glad you know her because she left this year last time. Oh god. So she left her helmet behind. Again. Not the first time, huh? 
Her helmets have been picked up by all sorts of people in the last three months. Valets, nurses, morticians, fire jugglers. She's been lucky enough to always leave it with people who return it, at least. Whoa, quite a few people. Say's as much of a sociable girl as she is a total klutz. At least, when she's not being serious, she's very competent when she puts her mind to it. I see. So, did she recommend you this place, or...? We're meeting here today. I can see why she chose this place. It's the kind of place she likes. Hmm. Say, is that Kira Miki's autograph on that glass? Seems like the glass is a conversation starter. Nice. Yeah, it is. How did you get it? She stopped here yesterday, just before the concert. Really? I... I mean... She did. Yeah, nice girl. Can I see it? Sure. Yup. This star-like signature is hers. So your name's Jill, then? Yes. Ain't this nice? Here you go. Do you like her, Miss Stella? Just call me Stella. I do. Whenever you hear her songs, you're filled with so much energy and happiness. Too bad I couldn't purchase tickets for this one. I mean, they were sold out in minutes! Luckily I could secure a couple for the next time she comes around. Oh, excuse me for a second. Hello? Where the hell are you? Car crash? Oh, you're helping. Will it take long? Alright. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I take it that was say. Yes. Will you wait for her? I will. In the meantime, I feel like having another drink. One that was prepared in memory of its creator's dearest friend. Alright. I'm a bartender at a tender bar. <laughs> um, right. So there is an, there is a bar, a uh, drink named after the creator's friend. Which one was it? Uh, oh. No, the piano man. It was straight up just the piano man, right? Okay. Um, one, two, three. See, I like how the game makes you, like, think about what the characters have already said, but it also makes returning to the play, like, to the game, like, difficult, because if you don't remember that, it'll just make that harder. All on the rocks and mixed. Um... Is this the one you had in mind? Yes, exactly. Thank you. May I ask you something that might be personal? It isn't about my eye, is it? Sorry, that's not how she sounds that. It isn't about my eye, is it? Uh, no, it's not. Or at least I don't think so. I don't get to serve many cat boomers, so it's something I've been curious about. Wow, this sounds a little like, hmm, a little racial. Hmm, okay, okay, keep going. Did you go through the procedure because of a disease or because of the fad? Before I was born, I was diagnosed with nanomachine rejection. So, it had to be done. Otherwise, I would have died shortly after birth. I'm a bit on the weak side because of it, though. Uh, 
I'm sorry if I overstepped. I don't mind. It's always nice to dispel the idea that my parents were just into the fad. You seem to know your drinks, Jill. Well, I, I guess I've read a bit more than the recipe book. Do you like alcohol? It, yeah, but not in the usual way. I don't drink that much outside of canned beer. But their colors, their stories, the way you need to keep them stored, their designs. It, it sounds a bit silly when I say it out loud. Not at all. Do you collect them or anything like that? Actually, yeah. I started with my grandpa's collection have been slowly growing at uh and have been slowly growing it. It's been hard because of my debts, but I managed little by little. Do you like alcohol, Stella? So, this is something I haven't commented on before, but it's the name Stella. Uh, whenever I think about the name Stella, I immediately think of a streetcar named Desire. Uh, the, not the book, but the movie with Marlon Brando. Because he goes, STELLA! STELLA BABY! Okay, but yeah, it's that's what he does. And I always think of that, STELLA! Really funny. Anyway, that was like... Totally non non sequitur, just ignore. I'm here, right? But, but, sorry, but I'm normally more of a social drinker. Unless it's with somebody, I don't tend to drink much. I see. Sorry, I'm late! Welcome. You took your sweet time. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I got caught in a rush hour traffic too and figured walking might be faster. Luckily there was a building with emergency stairs nearby and I climbed down. Climbed down? Took an air cab. Oh. I would suggest using ground transportation, but I'm happy to see you put safety first. Safety? No, no! Flying cars are just way cooler. I still don't understand how they don't give you motion sickness. If I find out how, do I, how I avoid it, you'll be the first to know. Anyway, I'll have whatever she orders next. I'd like a drink that was... You're at it again? You and your cryptic orders always leaving us with weird stuff. Hey, I expect only the best from whoever serves me. They need to be able to answer these kind of orders. Still, I'm sure you're wearing poor Jill here out with that kind of stuff. She's done quite well so far, actually. Really? Thank you. Whatever, please order something normal, would you? That'll be two fringe weavers, then. You'll have two drinks at once? N no, we're sharing. What? Like, half a glass for each? Isn't it better if it's one for each? <sighs> Don't worry, you'll see. Did I leave enough food for four at home? So she just got like this because uh, she's not helping you along anymore. So two fringe weavers. It's one aldehyde and nine carmatrine. Oh my god! That's a lot of alcohol for say. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then aged mixed. Okay. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Aged and mixed. All right. Two fringe weavers. So? This one's for you, and this one's for me. You said you wanted whatever I asked for, right? Oh, that way. You could have said so earlier. 
Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Here. Hey! So this is where I left my helmet. Thanks! You really need to be more careful with your things. Yeah, but I have spares. Those spares should be saved for when the one you're using breaks or malfunctions. Not when you lose it. Those helmets cost money, you know? Yeah, sorry. Should I say that boss got her head sucked because of a jam button? Spe speaking of money, you still going to that meeting at the bank tomorrow? Yep. You worried? I'll refrain for now. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Don't be! It'll be fine. Rumors are just rumors. Rumors? They say something might happen at the bank tomorrow. But with all the tension in the air lately, it's hard to know if it's true. As if the fear-mongering wasn't enough, the people have also started spreading baseless rumors. So, my guess is this was probably covered in the news as a, uh, another a Alice Rabbit story. Yeah. Just yesterday, I had to stop a group of rampaging youngsters that heard the city would be leveled by bombs. <sighs> Everyone's so on edge. Yeah. I know you're worried, but I have to go there. It's orders from the higher-ups. Tell me something. If somebody came after me, do you think they'd stand a chance? You're quite strong, but... I'll take something to protect myself. Be prepared for anything. Would that make you feel safer? M maybe. I'll tell you what. After I come back, we'll get some ice cream. That way you can vent all your frustrations. All right. This is a cute friendship. I like this. Seems my vehicle is here to pick me up. You coming, say? Nah, I'll stay here a bit longer. Okay then. Take care. Bye. She's such a worry wart. That means she cares about you. I've never doubted. Oh, sorry. I've never doubted. Say, why does my helmet smell like bacon? Uh, bacon? Not that I mind. I'm just curious. Well, you know how some things absorb the smell of what's nearby? It must have grabbed it from one of the ingredients. I see. Do you believe all that stuff about tensions growing in that anarchist group trying to disband the White Knights? Oh right, this is another group. I forgot what they're called. The... something. Uh, the, the journalist dude was talking about it last time. To tell you the truth, I'm a bit worried. Even in my division, there's some shady business going on. But I don't want to investigate too deeply. What kind of business? From what I understand, things like working with human traffickers or drug dealers, letting them act as they wish? Some even say the ones that do get apprehended are the ones that have failed. Uh, failed them in some way. Stella always says, the White Knights are just glorified mall security. Actually, here's a here's a here's the thing. When she says this, do you think she mocks Stella a little bit? I don't see her as the type, but what is what does Say sound like when she's imperson doing like a Stella impersonation? The White Knights are just glorified mall security. Something like that. She says that if it's been proven beyond a doubt that some shady business is going on... Zaibatsu Corps main branch would separate themselves from the whole White Knight Division. <laughs> Zaibatsu Corps. That's, that's legit. Something about the associates' fear of bad PR resulting in them moving to the BTC. Sounds plausible. Yeah. 
kind of worries me though, because I really like my job. And I guess a similar fear exists among the upper ranks. Lately they seem... restless. Too much politics, huh? It hurts my brain. I just want to rescue people and help them. What a pure... what a pure little... Mm -hmm. Lovely. I just want to do my job without worries about politics of any kind. What are you doing at the bank tomorrow? My colonel needed to relay some information to the manager, and I was picked because he trusted me. Well, he said, You're such a simpleton that you'd never give the wrong answer. But it's his intention that counts. Aww. Uh, oh. Okay, uh, this is gonna be tough because it's two like lowly voices at once. <clears throat> but Dorothy's the Lilum, right? So she's got like the kind of like pseudo sexy lowly voice. So let me try this one more time. <clears throat> Finally, the Dorothy has come back to Valhalla. Oh my God, that sounded so bad. I hate myself. Please refrain from doing those sitcom-like entrances. You're disturbing the other clients. Oh, disturbing other clients. Oh, come on! You know the audience would have gone wild with that one. And besides, you make it sound like you have a full house. <clears throat> it's uncommon to see you here two days in a row. I wanted to grab something before starting my shift. Grab something before they start grabbing me, you could say. Hey, you having a drink? Can I buy you one? Why yes, thank you. Honey, you should follow her example and offer me drinks more often. We'll see. What are you having? I'll have what she's having. Then I've got the perfect thing! Let's have a blue fairy! One for both? One for each! They kind of complement each other. and I, I just like how this game like has the like character relationships, even for characters that have no actual associations. That's really neat. Alright. How does boss's hair stay like that? True. Um, blue fairy. Do 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 four out. Oh, an optional karma train. I can get them both drunk. One, two, three, four. One. One, two, three, four. A little hard. Okay. All age to mix. Uh, what? One, two, three, four. One. One, two, three, four. I I put it on the rocks in my 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 bad. One, two, three, four, one aged. And then one, two, one, da. Ta da! Two fairies. Two fairies for two fairies. Mm-hmm. Um sorry, <laughs> that was so lame. Hey! This is pretty good. See? And it's blue, like your hair. It is! So, what's your name, sweetie? Call me Say. All right, Say, I'm Dorothy. Say, Say. Yes, yes? <laughs> this is so goofy. Say, Say. <laughs> Yes, yes! <laughs> say, say! <laughs> oh, I love this. Say, say! Say, why did you just buy me a drink? I just thought you were cute as a button, so I wanted to invite you to join me. Wow! You have to be the first person to offer me a drink without having an ulterior motive. 
And that includes Fuckboy over there! <laughs> oh, this is great. What do you mean? Trust me, when you work in my kind of field, you learn to read cues from everything. And this girl is simple to a fault. How so? You're the what you see is what you get type. That look on your face is one is of one that simply sees no point in lying. Coupled with the fact that you're here in what looks like your work attire tells me that you're so married to your job that sex is too far down your priority list to notice its existence. So, if you invited me to a drink because you found me cute, and that's the extent of it, I believe you. Thank you! Uh, their voices are melding together, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. You say she's the first one, but what about Deal giving you a ticket the other day? <laughs> Who? Oh yeah! The little one with the dogs! No, he doesn't count. He looked like a humanoid mat. Ouch. You seem very perceptive, Dorothy. But I'm not too far behind. How so? I can tell your body is heavily modded with things you shouldn't even have. Your tongue is a BEB069 with DNA scanning capabilities. Your skin is coated with an anti-radiation finish. Your joints are of the premium, extra flexible variety. And the most important thing, your hands. Wh what about them? I don't know how modded your body is under your clothes. The tongue, joints, and skin are merely interesting. But your hands are the MIRD113 of Realta Industries. Yeah, I know people don't like my setup. <laughs> it's, you know what? It's, uh... I don't like my setup, to be honest, but it's what, what I got. <laughs> Thank you. A model designed to shoot class 5 bullets from its fingertips. What? Ooh. S so? Clause G of Article 17 in the Augmentations and Modifications Law on the topic of Ballistic Augmentations. Any humanoid or sa sapient creature under civilian designation that has upgraded any of its person to hold firearms of class 3 grade or higher will be either commissioned for disarm disarmament or sent to danger zones. Oh my god, is she she pulling like a, I invited you over here to, to arrest you? Damn. What, what are you going to do? Nothing. Nothing? Huh? I'm not in law enforcement. I just do rescue. And even if I was, I'm not on duty right now. Wow, this is, they're so pure, I love it. But Dorothy, what's going on? Uh, oh. I, I wanna know though, why go through with that upgrade? A girl's gotta take care of herself, you know? I wanna be able to deal with things if they get ugly, and this is the most discreet mod I had. Or at least I thought so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay then, can I give you some advice? Uh, I guess. The reason I could tell it's not your default hand model is your fingertips. The tips are a little bigger to make the cannons fit. You could get a small mod that changes them into disposable tips. Uh, assuming they're being used for self-defense and not regular use, of course. Uh, I see. Well. I've gotta go. Ah yes, another thing. If you aim for the arms or legs, once, uh, once is self-defense. Anything more is assault. Y yeah. Bye, Dorothy. Bye, Jill. Bye, bye. <laughs> that was an exchange and a half. Please come again. Wow. <laughs>
<laughs> I thought she was gonna take me away! <laughs> they would put my mind on a vacuum cleaner for three years! <laughs> Two if I behave well. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> That's what happens when you underestimate people. Although, I'm tempted to ask. About what? DNA reading tongue? Very prehensile... intuitive. Also, it vibrates. Extra flexible joints? Do you really need to ask? Anti-radiation coating. Hey, my skin's my first tool of the trade. I need to take care of it as much as possible. You know, it's true. Like, even regular people should be, like, putting on sunscreen and stuff every day, more or less. Thanks for asking. My day's been pretty okay. I'm, I've been a little tired, uh, not getting a lot of sleep, actually fussing about stream quality all the time. Thanks for asking. How about you? And it makes me... F and it makes it feel so soft, no matter how much it's battered. Ooh. All right, then. So, you fancy yourself a diviner? Reading people and all. Not really. I'm just quite good at reading people. I guess it's a byproduct of dealing with so many people on a daily basis. It's a bit surreal to hear that from a Lilum. So one thing I get, gotta say about Lilums, like as a thing, uh, clearly it sounds like Lilith, and, um... And isn't there a character called Lilum, uh, from Darkstalkers? Like, she's Morgan's sister, or other half, or something like that, you know? So they're like... They're not exactly sex robots, but they're like sex robots. They're clearly designed with, like, a feminine, attractive figure in mind for... Visually simulating behavior, something like that. That's just what I'm getting here. And that feels very cyberpunk, because, like, obviously in, like, a cyberpunk world, they would have, like, basically sex robots or robots that replace certain people. I'm sure there's a male version of a Lilum, too, which implies that they have that incubus, succubus sort of, like, quality, which is also interesting. It, it, it shows the, like, the underbelly of, like, this, this world, like, how the government regulates things, how corporations run things. Anyway, sorry. Back to the story. What can you say about me, then? Let's see. Hmm. You're very, very, very sexually frustrated. It's not the act itself, but rather that your partners can't seem to satisfy you on a deeper level. Wow. Actually... I guess Jill gives off that vibe because, uh, what's his face? Ingram also said the same thing. He's he caught on to her faking the orgasms. <laughs> so that's... This consistency of the writing is really top-notch. I, like, I appreciate it so much. There's an even deeper frustration. Something happened that's blocking you. So, I'm a psych major. This is showing a lot of, like, Neo-Freudian, like, uh, psychology in that uh, we all have like experiences and and things in our past that strongly influence who we are today and how we act it's not necessarily something like a fixation but it is something you know I guess you could call it something that has taken root in your mind that causes you to feel a certain way type towards things it's not always trauma although we often associate it with trauma Maybe there's someone who you know won't return your feelings. Maybe you were hurt in the past. Thus, your demeanor is that of someone who feels like life is playing tricks on her. Like a dog whose owner never really throws the ball. Yikes, that's um... That's kind of intense. Damn, Dorothy. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, did I actually hit the nail on the head? I was making this stuff up on the fly. All of that was just rubbish I say because it's right 80% of the time. Generic bullshit, if you will. 
You'd be surprised at the amount of sexual frustration people hold. I can't read you, honey. You're too good at putting on a professional face. But this definitely gives me more insight into you. Lucky, lucky! Aren't you late or something? I am. But if you'd let me satisfy your frustrations, I could stall for some time. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Go. Fine, fine. Bye bye, honey. Artificial intelligence has come rather far, eh? One wonders how artificial it remains. Shut up, fuckboy. Everything done? Yeah. Hey boss, this might seem random, but... Do you remember the first time I came to the bar? When you came to submit your contract? Yeah, why? Well, for some reason I've been hung up on it since this morning. And I just realized why. The visage that welcomed me back then was... Jill trying to pull your hand out of a jar. Oh yeah! That. <laughs> I can't remember what exactly, but something fell inside and I tried to retrieve it. I just kind of put my hand in and it got stuck. It was a French jar too, so I couldn't just break it. Hey Jill, how did you get my hand out of that jar? A uh, straw and some butter? Oh yeah, clever solution. Yeah, and that brings me to the random thought. That incident? The helmet yesterday? The many times your foot got stuck in on something for stomping it? Boss? Why do you get stuck in so many different things? Wow, talk about non sequiturs <laughs> like that is random. Huh. Now that you mention it, I remember this one time she tried to eat a big sandwich and her jaw got stuck. Then there was the incident with the TV. I'll admit my fault with the others, but the TV incident was not my fault. The assembly instructions for that stand should have labeled their Z and S better. You saw what happened when I switched the S2 piece with the 5Z one? Still, Jill's on to something here. Hmm. <clears throat> yes, she is. Now, go clean the dishes and you can leave for today. I like to think she'll make an effort now to get avoid stuck stuck in thing getting stuck in things. I wanna believe. It wasn't flawless service, what did I do? Where did I screw up? Uh oh, in the first half of the day, before the save. I I gave somebody something they didn't want. Whoopsies. But, I like how in the red they always have the comment, like, tip type thing. Comment bonus, if you will. Everything will turn out alright in the end, don't worry. Boss is really nice, I like Dana so much. 800 has been charged to your account to renew your membership to Shining Fingered. Shining Fingered sounds a little, dir <laughs> a little dirty now, but um, if you guys didn't know what it was a reference to, uh, Shining Fingered, is, Shining Fing Finger is the the move that uh, um, what's his name? Do Domon. I want to say Domon Yagyu or something like that. He's the main character of G Gundam. He goes Shining Finger, and then his hands go out like this, and he he likes his his hand glows and he scrapes off the opponent's face, usually, and it causes them to blow up. Which, really, in hindsight, is like a super lethal, super violent way of fighting another mech. And it's cool. You, you guys should definitely watch G Gundam if you like Gun. Like, no, if you like Gundam, if you like Mecha, G Gundam is a great place, because it shows excellent fighting. Also, it's a classic, so. There's my anime recommendation for the day. Jill's subscription got renewed, so she'll have no problem focusing at work today. Uh, happy not birthday? And it's Friday, so... Is she watching porn right now? Because she has four saying, you really like that website, huh? I have needs. Usually refers to 
the kind. So here's Reddit. <laughs> Alice Rabbit Thread 3. It's officially happening. What do you think will happen? No, wait. Uh, what do you think? Yeah. <clears throat> Water break. One sec. Probably nothing. Last time it was the leaks. I, thought, I think Alex jumped the shark with that one because it seems hard to top. Maybe more leaks? It sounds unlikely. I, w I don't think the government will let that happen twice. But this is Alice we're talking about. There's nothing they can't do. Everybody likes the idea of like a hacker that is theoretically on the side of the people, right? What if that spooky message wasn't really Alice, but just an epic prank? Who would hack a site like this just for a prank? <laughs> Not me. Wink. Oh wait, is that a wink or is that like a sweat mark? You're right though, it might be someone else. I'll have to wait and see. What was the date again? December 17th. What's today's date? Right. If only we knew more about the target now. Sick meme, sis. These Alice threads piss me off. Fucking e-celebs. Hmm, what if it has something to do with the terrorism rumors? The store is closed. Stop forcing Alice. So we hate Alice now? Good. It's just that we haven't heard any news yet. Remember that time they posted here to announce an attack? Oh, yeah, and I remember the cybercrime unit up the admin's ass. December 17 will come the second retribution. Birthday is coming. That font. Oh, so is that what the happy not birthday comes from? It was a hack? That font. Oh boy. Spooky font. It's happening. Oh wait, this is more like a 4chan than it is a, a reddit. Sorry, I'm young. <laughs> Time for despair. Oh shit, fuck! That face when I just got out of jail. I'm not going back. Do you know what happens to people with IPs on the wrong thread? Hi, cybercrime unit. I just want to let you know, I'm not Alice, but in fact, your mom. Why you gals got Why you gals so nervous? The only one getting fucked is the admin. Fuck off, Alice. Not this shit again. This thread is closed. And the Miki concert. In the last thread, no shit posting allowed. Did that one anon leave? Uh, left? I think so. I never left, I was just lurking to not cause any trouble. Don't worry, we're here for you. Any idea for the great revelation? Do you know if you like her yet? Look, I just don't want to ruin our friendship. We know we know each other since we were very young. So she's your childhood friend? It's like one of my Japanese animes! Oh boy! Uh, yeah. Okay, this is what you have to do. When Miki ends singing Lovers in Paradise, you kiss her. Kiss? Of course! Just try to imagine how magical that moment would be with the fireworks and the epic guitar solo. Uh, I will think about it. Fun dating fact for y'all. Uh, don't force kisses. Like, don't do it. There is a moment and you gotta read the situation and when you can read it really right, you get, like, the payoff is good. But if you mess up, it's really awkward, and no one was asking for that. Like, imagine someone you didn't want to kiss you just kissed you because they they thought you were giving off vibes. Like, you know, it's weird. Like... People, like, get on my case about this all the time because they're like, oh, that's, that's, like, so PC. There's no point. You're not impressing anyone with your virtue signaling, blah, blah, blah. But, like, I have historically asked girls before I kiss them, like, is it okay if I kiss you? But it's part of the character that I'm playing on the date, which is like, I'm this like shy, awkward guy. There is a, you have to be able to like leverage your strengths with, with an awareness of how you actually come off. Like I know I come off as awkward. So if I just lean into it a little bit, it comes off as like kind of cute, more than just like, oh, he, he has zero social cue reading. That's not really dating advice, that's just like me talking about myself, but you know. And here's clickbait! You wouldn't believe the shocking Kira Miki secret by Kimberly LaVallette. Today we'll, look a, we'll take a look at one of the most popular acts of our time. How did she get started? What's her favorite movie? What about a romantic life? Don't miss this exclusive interview only on the augmented eye and then it's region blocked. Wow relevant 
Alice Rabbit might be a Kirimiki fan. By Lana Smithy. Everyone loves Kirimiki, and Alice Rabbit is no exception. You might be wondering what's my proof for this not-so-wacky theory, and well, keep reading if you want to know. Attack Patterns. This is an easy one. You just, I'm getting tired of your, your shit, Miss Smithy. That looks fake as hell. Okay, glad to know. Shit posting on journalism. Like the, what's a, what's a, what's a garbage? I don't know. The Huffington Post. I don't like this. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Buzzfeed. <laughs> okay. The Rival. Hmm. If you guys don't know what the rival is, you're not in college. Congratulations. Um, for whatever reason, you're not in college. I, I'm not disadvocating for college. I'm just saying you run into some jank journalism, if you could even call it that. Crime up 5% this month by Kimberly LaVellette. Crime is up 5% this month, officially making the road to make a Christmas, Christmas a dangerous one. White Knights, aware of the situation, have promised to maintain security in all sectors, even though recent budget cuts have been decreasing the morale of their personnel. An uphill battle. Poverty and the lack of opportunities are no longer the main causes of crime. Criminals come from all walks of life. They will murder and distribute drugs for no other reason than the fact it gives them power. Kind of like how a lot of white collar crimes are committed, like embezzlement, like they do it just because they can. It feels like it. Like, they're rich enough already, they're not looking for more money, they're just looking for flex. I mean, we're flex, but okay. It's no longer about feeding their families, it's about domination. There are entire sectors controlled by these dangerous gangs and there's no solution in sight. This Mega Christmas will be a very dark one. All right, and what's this? Kiramiki blog. Oh my God, there's so much stuff to read, it's cool. But I'm not gonna read this because Oh, it's by Miki. Well, see, if I wanted to practice my Miki voice, I would read it, but I'm just gonna skim it. Okay. Then Dome Concert. Did they just add the Miki one, or was it in the previous thing? Because I skipped the... I skipped it by accident. <laughs> This is like, this is the underbelly of idol culture. Well, it's not even really an underbelly. It's like, here's the surface, you know, like right here. And then right here is where the reality is. And the reality is fans are wild. There's a reason why Stan is like, not a good term in my, in my, the phrase booklet. <laughs> What does she do to relax? Oh, tea cocktails. Okay. All right. All right. So let's save. Uh, save rotations, boy. Always do them. And so that's what she meant by tea like, right? Because she came here. So does she need anything right now? She said she wasn't going to be distracted by anything, but I kind of, you know, I want to do well enough in the game that I can buy Jill everything, because she deserves everything. <laughs> also, uh, I'm pretty sure Jill has like a major crush on the boss. Um, without too many spoilers, I have like fairly good reason to believe that Jill is not bisexual, but a lesbian. So that's a thing. Anyway. Back to work. Friday, December 16th. Okay, so this is the day of the happy birthday attack, right? Good evening. Hello. Oh, gunshots. Seems you made it just in time. Uh, I think that's just a car backfiring. Really? It sounded more like a gunshot to me. Have you ever heard gunshots? Haven't we all at some point? Yeah, well... See? Sounds more like a car's exhaust. I don't know. 
it's too dry. Yeah, but gunshots give more echo. What if it's a firecracker? Ah, boss. Firecrackers? Yep. A couple of years ago, there was an incident where some dude killed a cop. He managed to slip away because his pistol was mixed up with the usual Make a Christmas firecrackers. Oh, that's cool. I mean, not cool, but, you know, real. Could happen. Plausible. <laughs> nah, it sounded too hollow for firecrackers. Well, whatever. This is not a morning talk show. I'm not paying you to chit-chat about meaningless things. At least, not amongst yourselves. Right. We shouldn't lose time over a car's exhaust. Sorry. Over a car's exhaust. Put the emphasis in the wrong place there, but... They! <laughs> Whoopsies. Um... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, duh, ba -ba 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 -ba. there, and her, her, yeah. Ugh, oh, the soundtrack. So good. I'm gonna keep gushing about it until I stop thinking so, so, like, be prepared. I really like her catchphrase, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best to do it some more justice. Time to mix some, uh, blah! Wow. <laughs> Immediately lost it. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valhalla! All right, this is stereotypical, so people are gonna hate me, but... Oh, actually, no, I can... I can do this guy a real favor. Hello, I'm looking for some information. What kind of information? What can you tell me about a girl nicknamed Crimson Rose? Sounds like a tacky online handle. Although, tacky online handle is a bit redundant. Do you know anything about her? Nope. Sorry. I have $80 here that might refresh your memory. Now that you mention it, I remember something. Really? Yeah. Now I'm totally sure that I have no idea whatsoever who you're talking about. <laughs> I love Jill. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and now his voice is no longer deep tooth, so it's, uh, oh, sorry, deep throat. Deep toot is, uh, the Fairly Odd Parents version parody of deep throat, my bad. Anyway. So, now he's a nerdy guy. Nothing at all? Nothing. Man, you're a sucky bartender. Not having any info I need. <sighs> Well, first of all, why assume I just happen to have the info you conveniently need? Does that girl frequent this place? Is there any proof that I might have the info you so desperately need? Ooh, this music is good too. Strong start. Well, I... And second, you're not gonna get anywhere by offering me physical money. In fact, what are you doing with physical money? You wanna get mugged so badly? Yeah, well... Moreover, even if I did know something, do you really think $80 is enough? I'm surprised they're using dollars and not like credits, but okay. You can do almost nothing with $80. It's not even enough to have a decent lunch. Wow, inflation. All right, glad, glad we all have something to look forward to. Why are you scolding me? Why did you call me a sucky bartender for not conveniently having the info you need? I... Wait, of course! You want all deals to be clean, so you need me to spend money on the bar. That's how it works, right? I spend money, you give me the info? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay then, get me a drink, but keep it under $80. 
$80. Let's see what kind of drink you can buy with that. Ha ha ha. Maybe it's beer. Uh, no. <laughs> JK. Wrong. A gut punch is 80 exact. Anything less than that? No. A gut punch is literally the only thing that is $80. All right. Get ready, guy. I'm gonna get you shwasted. All aged and mixed with a heck of alcohol. Uh, do I, is that gonna kill him? Here. Okay then. Do you know anything about the girl? Nope. <laughs> but you should. Maybe, maybe not. Turns out that it's maybe not. You are the one deluding yourself into thinking I might know something. And, like I said, $80 is nothing. So, I need to spend more? I'll give you some intel. Spend all the money you want, but I know nothing, and no amount will change that. Can I at least get my money back? What a jagoff. Oh my god, you hate guys like this, right? Why? The order is right, isn't it? Oh, I guess. So why are you looking for that girl, Mr... Vondelay. Art Vondelay. I'm a private detective. It's what I do. I'm sorry, where did the, like, slightly southern accent come? I don't know. Oh, sorry, I was feeling that song so much. I just love songs that, that like, have that really strong, like, what is it, is it like a syncopated beat? Some, something like that? It, whatever it is, ah, it got me right, right in, some music just makes you feel like right in your chest. And that music is like the stuff that, I love funk, for example. It's like, hmm. And for that reason, I don't go to clubs because they all have very, very loud music. Nothing you can dance to. <laughs> so I'll assume you're either looking for a missing girl or working for a creepy online stalker. You're assuming the girl I'm looking for is innocent or lost. She's not. She's half of the so-called reapers of the city. Oh, okay. Two guns for hire that work for whoever's resourceful enough to find them and wealthy enough to pay them. Crimson Rose and Cobalt Lily, they call themselves. They still sound more like teenagers' internet nicknames. So, who wanted you to track her? I don't know. I got the letter with instructions and a paycheck. What if it's a prank? I have the money, so what do I care if it is? Yeah, I'm playing this on Steam, through Steam. Uh, it's been on sale several times. I think it came out in the last two years. I don't remember the exact year. But uh, if you want to know who recommends this game, besides everyone who's played it, my, that, I think so. Uh, Hideo Kojima also recommended this game. Um, and it is... I don't know if it's only available on PC, but it is definitely like easiest to play on PC and doesn't have too many requirements. So that's like another thing. Besides, considering the amount I was able to cash in with that check, it'd be a pretty wasteful prank. I see. Still, any information or rumors you could give me? They don't have to be related to the girl. Wait, what? So what do you want to know? Anything? Uh, um, yesterday, when I was on the toilet, uh, like, the water kind of splashed a little bit and hit my butt. I didn't really like that. Pay up. <laughs> Why do you need them? It's always good to keep up with the local going-ons. Goings-ons. Yeah, Kojima Metal Gear Solid and Kojima Productions now. I did play a lot of different kinds of uh, Metal Gear games. A lot of people don't like Metal Gear 5, but I think it's, like, as a 
the more open world style of Metal Gear is a lot of fun. Um, that plot is impenetrable, by the way, but it's okay. Like, those games are very interesting. Highly recommend. Um, could not tell you which one's my favorite, though, because I was too young. Like, I, like, the PlayStation had just come out when I was just born, so... What do? Anyway. Well, let's see. Hmm. Sorry, can't think about anything right now. Most of the conversations you hear in here aren't rumor-worthy. Like, we're not that kind of bar, you know? Humor-worthy, maybe, but not much about current events. At least not beyond what you see on the news. Damn it! What kind of bar is this if you can't get out the world? Sorry. My, my voice was just, I'm like, I lost the character so hard. Damn it! What kind of bar is this if you can't get out of the word on the street? What kind of film noir world do you think you live in? Well, to be fair, it's cyberpunk, so I mean, self-aware. Joe might know something if you're so fixated on finding some kind of information. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know something that might help me, Jill? I don't. I certainly don't, and I'm offended by the suggestion that I do. I think it's really funny that Jill is basically always off to the side like a little bit. Like he's, is he doing anything? Is he just washing dishes? Like watching as Jill, Jill the player character, like deals with the customers? Like, is he on break? I don't get it. I don't know how this bar culture works. Somebody, like you would think they'd have two people being bartenders if it's a big enough bar, but it doesn't even seem like that. So, I don't know. Anyway. He knows something. On second thought, maybe it's better if you don't get involved with him. Well, this has been a major waste of time. And here I thought all the noise BTC bars have made lately would be useful for something. Noise? What noise? You don't know? I'm asking for a reason. You'll find out soon enough. Don't worry. In any case, I guess I'll have another drink and leave. What can I get you? I'll have a grizzly temple, because I'm a man. Simple enough. Three aldehyde. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. All blended. Here. Okay then, this is going to be deducted from the $80 from earlier, right? Buddy, that's not how this works. No. Fine. Come on, there has to be something. This week has been slow as hell. The only good thing I've heard is about this girl who threw herself off the roof of a nearby wall. And the whole thing about a woman catching her midair makes me think it's totally made up. Uh, aside from rumors that the Harbingers, that's the other group I was thinking about, not the Reapers, but the Harbingers. A lot of groups. Hard to keep track. Somebody needs to make some spark notes. Aside from rumors that the Harbingers are looking to cause trouble at a bank today, no, not really. Damn it! Wait. Who told you that? It appeared on the news, didn't it? Yeah, but the name the Harbingers wasn't used. No Glitch City outlet has reported that themselves. There are rumors that someone, or something, is keeping them silent. And even the international outlets aren't using the name Harbingers. They're avoiding acknowledging the organization yet for some reason. Do I sound like my mouth is sewn shut? Because that's how I feel. <laughs> for some reason. So you're either one of them, or somebody in the world, somebody in a no told you about it. Wow, he could be surprisingly sharp. Yeah, Donovan D. Dawson was in here for the last three days, actually. Really? I wonder if he'll notice the glass that idol signed. I mean, sure, 
I can't think of anything that would be useful involving him right now, but... Guess not. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Did you talk about anything interesting? Interviewing the idol that had a show a couple of days ago, dealing with messy interns. Part of the course, I guess. I see, I see, that's... Gunshot! It's a backfire. Firecrackers! Hey, what do you think that sound just now was? Sounded like something very heavy being dropped. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, sure. <laughs> to be honest, and this is no knock at my uncle, but he looks a lot like my uncle. <laughs> like, straight up, the shape of his head, the hair. But my uncle doesn't sound like that. He's, he's, he's... <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Sorry, uncle. I hope you're not watching this. I, or I, you'd show up in the views if you did. <laughs> All right. Something heavy? Come on, that's not even close. It was definitely more like an explosion of some kind. No, you could clearly hear the clashing of metal. Something that was both made out of metal and very heavy fell down. That's what made the sound. Whatever it is, it's not normal for it to be repeating so often. I wonder if something's happening. I heard there were some gang spats going on. Maybe they took the conflict here? Which means... Gunshots! If that's the case, I just hope they don't come too near us. Well, I've got to go. Seems coming here was a waste of time after all. Really? Really. I just have different needs. But there will come a time when those planes might help me. Um, I'm... <laughs> I'm just swallowing my own voice at this point. God damn. Goodbye! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like, I'm having too much fun doing it. Please, come again. Gangs, then? Unlikely. This is unicorn territory. Unicorns. That's a cool name for a gang. No, I mean, that's like a nerd cool name for a gang, but I think it's cool. They've always been ne a neutral and important third party in other gangs' deals. Who, what now? <sighs> I'll just pretend I heard nothing. Thank you. He left me thinking about the whole noise from BTC bars thing. What's up with that? I think I heard something about money laundering through bars. Don't take my word for it, though. I see. I guess I'll find out. Soon enough. Well, co Streaming Chan! <laughs> I'm Streaming Chan, giving you a live video feed of my life and adventures 24-7! Bathroom time and naughty moments only available to premium users. Oh boy. Really? That's something. <laughs> It's only $99.99 a month. Go premium now! Uh, um... It's Friday night, and you all know what that means! It's time for Streaming Chan's Escapades! Oh my god, it's Nico Nico, right? <laughs> Today's Escapade is brought to you by ShiningFinger.moe Leaders of VR adult entertainment since two... 2069. Buy a year of premium membership and you'll get a code! Exchange the code for a free trial of a VR experience modeled after yours truly! <laughs> Excuse. Today I picked the shoddiest, nastiest, smelliest, ugliest bar I could find downtown. And sadly, it actually looks half decent inside. So much for going to a crap hole bar that smells like a dog, like dog urine. <laughs> Ex 
Excuse me. But no matter, tonight, I'll give you an ex escapade you'll never forget. Hey you, where's the bartender? You're talking to her. Very funny, where is he really? Right in front of you. Notice the heterochromia here? Hey you, the pretty boy over there. Where's the bartender? She talking to me? Me? Kidding. You're looking at him. N no way! Masaka! Bakuna! No hot shirtless guy playing with fire and serving drinks while flirting with you? No sexy scantily clad girl jiggling around the place? Sorry. <laughs> Gotta watch my hands, man. <laughs> You're telling me you two dressed like fucking waiters are the bartenders here? Yep. Seems that way. Is that a problem? Of course it's a problem! Friday nights are peak viewing hours! I need something sexy or enticing to keep them interested. Oh well, there's an easy solution to that. There is? Yeah! Just take your top off. You might need to take off your bra too, depending on how the traffic goes. Wait, you're quite flat. Do you even use a bra? Is that piercing glare a no? Come on! One of us is gonna have to take off their top off and it ain't gonna be me. I already did that once today. This is just like... <laughs> Twitch... Like, okay, I don't necessarily believe in the phrase Twitch thought because I think that's a little meh. But you know, there are some... Quote, quote, titty streamers out there. But to be honest, the way they're d d depicting Streaming Chan, she seems more of a... Like, she's not really so much of a Pokemane, you know what I mean? Not making judgments, it's just like there were a lot of other big titty Onechian characters here, so... Weird. Anyway. Ah, <sighs> and it's too late to go somewhere else. By the time I find an even nastier bar, they'll be closed. What bars are you going to? Like, don't a lot of them stay open late? I'm making making this stuff up because I don't frequent bars, but, you know. What's your policy on wearing pants? Somebody tried to have me fired for wearing a skirt, so we deal with that on a case-by-case -case ba basis. That's not a concrete answer. I need a binary yes-no answers. Sorry, I need binary yes-no answers. My viewers have the attention span of fruit flies. Oof. But not you guys, I love you guys. Lol. If they wanted to use their brains, do you think they'd watch something like this? Like this? I need to keep them entertained, and the fact that you still have your shirt on isn't helping. Wait, I know! Give me a drink! A big one! The nastiest one you could think of! Uh, um... Hello? Service here. Please? Wow, it's like my brain shut down. Sure. Nasty drink, nasty drink. Manly and promo drinks are both nasty, but that's my opinion. Promo drink. A bloom light, spicy promo glam. Uh, a bitter drink? All right, she wanted the big, so we gotta supersize it. One, two, three. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. It's not gonna get her smashed, but you know, it's a thing. Here. All right then. Cheers! Uh, 
I don't think you should chug it down so quickly. It's like it hit me, but I didn't feel it until a few seconds later. Is this what being kicked in the balls feels like? Yep. Okay, I've decided. I'll just get really wasted. Did anyone see Hey Kids Wanna Die? <laughs> Damn. Whoop. Where am I? Ooh. Sorry. Uh, ooh. I bumped the PC audio way too much. I hope, I hope that didn't kill any headphone users. My B. Sorry. Anyway. Getting shwasted. That's gotta be fun enough, right? If you say so. Okay, in the meantime, what can you tell me about this bar? What do you mean? Weird stories, fun stuff, interesting facts. You're being seen by an average of 6,000 people. Make their time worth it. Oh, the comments I could be making right now. Damn. But, you know, but too much clothing. Okay. You want me to give you a little... Nah, I'm kidding. Let's see then. Last weekend we had a party for the Safar Toy Company. And? It's a company run completely by dogs. Really? This place was completely overrun by corgis. Wait, 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 wait. Corgis? Did you really serve drinks to corgis? Tuxedo clad talking corgis. Yeah. Wow, awesome. Wait, you're not shitting me, right? I wish I was shitting you. Trust me. What else, what else? Um, let's see. Donovan D. Dawson from the Augmented Eye was here for three nights in a row. That perfume chauvinistic bastard? Huh, there's that word again. Just the other day, someone from the Augmented Eye interviewed me, actually. What did they ask? Oh, the usual bullshit. Who I was, what I did, future plans, inspirations. The one that interviewed me was this small meat girl with glasses. Ah, oh, it was Kim. She seemed a bit bitter, though. I wonder why. But I don't know about the way. Can I see that glass over there? Hmm? Sure. This signature. Is this Kira Miki's autograph? Uh, yeah, she came here before her last concert. Get out! Really? Is this some kind of secret hidden bar of the stars or something? Uh, not really. We're just in the right place at the right time. What kind of person is she when she's not on stage? I've tried to get a meeting with her, and she actually seemed willing, but she's always busy. A uh, very nice girl, actually. She seems to be completely invested in her work. She loves what she does, and it shows. You'd think she'd be some sort of diva, but as far as I'm concerned, she's one of the nicest people I've met. I knew it! I knew she was nice! Her passion shows in her concerts, you know? She's so... spontaneous. Her performances are never the same. Every time she sings Shine Spark, I feel like my soul is warming up like a high-performance computer. So, if I remember correctly, the Shine Spark is a move for Metroid. Uh, I, th I think it first came in Super Metroid or Metroid Fusion. One of the, probably Super Metroid or Metroid Zero Mission. One of the Metroids. Damn. Shows what I know. Uh, it's where Samus can run and then, like, super jump, right? That's the one. Anyway. Not to be confused with the Smash move, a Shine, which is when Fo Fox does, like, an, like a, a down B cancel. Who am I even talking to here? Like, are any of you guys Smash fans that, like, follow the competitive scene? <laughs> Sorry. Shine Spark! Oh, God. 
I find myself singing it in the shower all the time. Why is everyone so noisy? Uh, and those who pay premium can hear me sing every day at 99.99 a month. Go premium now! That aside, I was about to call bullshit on what you said. But I guess you do have some sort of proof for everything. Can I keep this glass? No. Pretty please? No. Party pooper. At least the, uh, At least this barn might be more interesting than I initially thought. The one thing that'd make it perfect is, is if Pretty Boy over there had a pass with the KGB. Spoilers, he does. Who told- mm? y Yeah, that- Ooh, that'd be crazy, huh? Are you gonna order anything else? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. The whole getting wasted thing. I heard of a drink called a bad touch. Get me a big one of those, please. A big bad touch. Coming, coming right up. Oh boy. Let's give her a big bad touch. Sorry, that was a lot of overacting, clearly. Um, Stream Chan wants the bad touch. Um, that's when OBS decides to, um, you know, crap its pants and, uh, make the stream not work so well. That's what I call a bad touch. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A one, a two, a three, four. Th this is a reference to the, the Tootsie Pop commercials, if you didn't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. All on the rocks, mix. Here's a bad touch for a bad girl. Wink, wink. Haha. Uh -huh. I'm so funny. Here. I was expecting something dirtier. We have olive brine. I can pour in a bit if that's what you want. No, not that. It's such a dirty name. It feels like the drink ought to come in a phallic glass or be this thick white liquid. See... If I was the immoral person that I know that I really am, but, you know, on stream, I'd be like, ah, streaming Chan, girl after my own heart. Much love. But this is such a character. <laughs> that would have skyrocketed the watchers at least threefold. They could have seen me drizzle it over my face like... <laughs> Sorry. Never gonna do that again. I felt gross doing it. <laughs> Don't you have anything like that? <laughs> nope. <sighs> I'll have to make do with condensed milk when I get home. <laughs> Hello, fellow youngsters. Uh, I'm glad that they're... This game is so aware of memes, it's great. I love it. Friendly reminder that today's escape escapade is brought to you by ShiningFinger.moe. Okay, so wait, let me let me let me ask. Is shinyfinger.moe a porn site that Jill is subscribed to? It's not her rent, it's the porn. That cuz that kind of changes everything. Leaders of VR adult entertainment since 2069. Buy a year of premium membership for a neat code. Said code will net you a free trial trial of a VR experience with a model based on mwah. So what's the deal with that VR experience? I don't want you to know anything, just I'm Well, a fan made a NND model of me. 
So that's like an MMD, like a Miku Miku dance model. When a Shining Fingered asked me about a, par a model for our partnership, I just contacted him. He got money for polishing the model a lot more. I got my partnership. We all won. <sighs> Hashtag non-spawns. Me, that is. Please sponsor me, anyone. I've even got a, I even got him a year of free premium membership in a VR set. You know, no comment. Okay, cool. That's nice. Wait, what's NND? Don't tell me you haven't heard of Niku Niku Dance. See? <laughs> I asked for a reason. It's... Well, it's music videos with 3D models. Yeah, that sounds like a good enough explanation. I see. To be honest, though, the model is a bit... meatier than me? Not that I mind it, though, considering the use it gets. <clears throat> you know, I was expecting you to be more... scared when I said that you're being watched by a lot of people. It's hard to be scared when you can't see these people. But they're still there, you know? Sure, they're behind screens and sometimes in the opposite corner of the world. But every single one of my viewers is a real person with a real life. Not being here doesn't make them any less real. I understand, but it's just not the same. They're not here, visibly paying attention to me. I don't get paranoid because of my phone contacts. Hmm, that's true, I guess. So, tell me, what made a lady like you a become a bartender? It's not exactly an exciting story. Does it involve a man? No. What about a crime? Nope. A childhood promise? Nope. A religious vow. A what? You're not gonna tell me that you just decided out of the blue to quit your job and start bartending. That's actually what happened. Sorta. Oh, come on! No epiphany, quarter life crisis, not even a hot teacher somewhere along the line. <clears throat> Look. Life isn't always a young adult novel where every decision is a road cone. And that's a problem. One third of my audience are teens that shouldn't be allowed to watch my streams. Throw me a bone here. There must be a nice mystical story you can tell about yourself, Miss Bartender. Well... <laughs> what are you doing? Um... I'm playing Valhalla and uh, doing a job of voice acting. That's what I'm doing. This is, I'm talking to stream, Streaming Chan, right? That's her name, Streaming Chan? Yeah, Streaming Chan. <laughs> yes? <sighs> Sometime after I started working, I got an interesting client. He was a Dark Soul. <laughs> DRK-S0L, a really old Lilum model. Apparently his power supply was running low, because his name was Curiosity. Rest in peace. Anyway, his charger was destroyed, and he didn't have the money to buy upgrades or replacements. He also seemed to have neglected his maintenance. Thanks. Very much. Uh, let's see. He was from the time when the co collective source wasn't a cloud storage system. So he wouldn't be uploaded there once his body ran out of energy. Literally, they're talking about curiosity before it happened. This game was released at least like one or two years ago. This is shocking. Like, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, I'm, wow. I, I don't imagine that they updated the game just to insert this in. Keep going. It was weird, you know? He was the only Lilum I've seen with a clear-cut fear of mortality. 
No transcendence for him. He would disappear once his batteries run out. It's like knowing you'll vanish while everyone else passes on to heaven, he said. Oh, man. I guess he felt bad about burdening someone else with his problems. So he went and gave me a fingertip of his that fell while we were talking. Before he left, he said, If you remember me, maybe a part of me will transcend. Um... Bravo! Bravo! Touching! Full of feeling! Completely awesome! I'd pay to see a movie like that. So what happened to that finger? I made a pendant out of it. I carry it with me at all times. That is a really touching story. Like, surprisingly. I mean, like I said, the storytelling in this game is top notch already, but... Even while bathing? Almost all the times. Thank you. Now that I think about it, how do you handle the stream if you want to watch a movie or something? I have a plugin that lays mosaic censorship over whatever I watch on TV or in the theater. Because, you know, YouTube's content ID algorithm is going to kind of do the dirty to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I see. Okay, this is getting stale. I'm going to heat this up. E I'm going to heat this up. This even if... I uh, what? That doesn't sound right. I'm going to heat this up this even if I have to do it myself. Pay attention, Su Sukeban Games. That was, uh, th is this right? <laughs> or is that just streaming foibles? Because, I mean, I know about those. We all know about those. We need to drop a cow in here, Miss Bartender. Get me drunk. I don't care how. Just... Do it. Just... Do it. <laughs> Dead meme. Sorry, not funny. Okay. She's asking me to get her drunk no matter what. That's an interesting request. I can just look for... I'm gonna scroll through the drinks to find one that has optional Karmatrine and just... Yeah, this one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. One, two. Oh my god, age it. And as much karma trying as possible. This is basically like asking for jungle juice, but saying, hey, can you make that, like, the soft drink component, like, only 10% and make the rest of it straight vodka? Or, in my case, like, Everclear? God, don't ever drink Everclear, folks. That's so gross. Like, you're better than that. Anyway, here's a blue fairy. So, oh, uh, damn it. All right. Yeah, I know, right? But you would have to know that to know that, you know what I mean? Everclear is so strong, you can put it into a spray bottle and use it as a cleaning, like, you can clean things with it. That's terrifying. Anyway. Nope, a bit hot, but not lightheaded. Yeah, motors, right? Then again, I'm always hot. Wink. <laughs> Hot-headed. Your drinks are either too light or I'm more resilient to alcohol than I thought. I mean, I gave you as much alcohol as I thought I could give. Maybe I should have given you a drink that was just alcohol. Like, just Karma Try. <laughs> but I'm sorry. No. Anyway. Okay, let's try this from a different angle. You ask the questions. What kind of questions? I don't know, I'm not the bartender. Do your bartenderish thing. So what made you decide to start streaming yourself 24-7? See? That's what I'm talking about! You're the bartender here, bartender! Anyway, have you ever done something reckless or stupid because of peer pressure? Um, I think that's uh, something everyone has gone through. Well, it used to be that I very rarely succumbed to such problems. 
I was the type to never take risks or try new things. Every time I did, I was scolded rather than praised. What point is there in doing this stuff if nobody acknowledges you did well? But some time ago, I stumbled upon a friend who would stream herself talking. Nothing risque or noteworthy. She invited me on and, well, the comments were intoxicating. The internet is a big place. Somehow I found within those comments people that acknowledged me. They encouraged me, even. After that stream, I tried doing some by myself. I turned on the camera, put on something cutesy, and started dancing to Kira Miki. At first, I pretended the camera wasn't there, but as soon as I saw the comments, something snapped within me. Lewd comments, praises, the usual random stuff. After seeing so many people interested in me, I started moving a lot more. No more shyness for me. After that, I started doing more. I sang, I drank, uh, jeez, I cooked, I drew things, I even did a strip tease at some point. Whenever I was streaming, I stopped being shy. So, at some point I said, Hey! This is the way I want to live all my life. And thus, Streaming Chan was born. Premium time when? How do I premium? Is it difficult to keep that up? Not really. It's not like I'm acting or anything. I'm just being myself. My perverted, but really not shy and confident self. Although, I do need to mind camera angles and that kind of stuff sometimes. But it's nothing major. Of course. The shill. And when I do need to mind that, for only 9 and oh, and when do I need to mind that? For only 99.99 a month, you can find out. Go premium. Go. Hey. You're good at this bartending stuff. Look at all the things you've made me say. Well... Like, seriously, what's your secret? How do you get people to talk? So, if you watch enough anime, you know what kind of girl she is? She's kind of a... She probably comes off as a little gyaru. Like, young, modern Tokyoite girl. The kind of yaho type of girl. No. I met, well, when I was in Japan, I met, like, a few girls that gave off that vibe. Very cute, but also, like, it's just a culture unto itself. I bet it's, like, probably live streamers in Japan are like that, too. I mean, I imagine the ones in the U.S. are, but we're a little different. So, anyway. I never do that much, actually. Well, this is a bar, after all. And one of the reasons people come to a bar is because they sometimes want to get things off their chests. So it's not a conscious trick you could teach in a 10 minute tutorial? Like how to stream? Top 10 streaming hacks to build your stream. Hi. Yeah. No. You just need to be in the right place at the, at the right time. Some professions make you that personal stranger others feel comfortable telling their secrets to. Of course, discretion, discretion helps too. Hey, now that you mention it, I do blab a lot to my hairdresser. Pretty interesting stuff. Well, no wild night tonight, but it did get interesting enough. Anyway, I should go, but before I leave... What's your name, Miss Bartender? I'm Lana Smithy. Alright, Miss Smithy, thank you for a lovely night. Hey, dude. Welcome back. But you stay here, because the night is still young and there's a lot to do. Whoa, the floor is moving! Sorry, she probably said it more like this because she's drunk. Whoa, the floor is moving. 
quite the lively girl, eh? People like her physically hurt me with their presence. You think she'll come back? My mom always says, you never know when the angels are saying, Amen. What does that even mean? Yeah, thanks for noticing. I worked really hard with uh, getting some Reaper plug plugins to like, just get this thing going. Uh, I've been obsessing over it actually. And I did a lot more test streaming. Um, so I'm glad, <laughs> I'm, thank you for noticing. What does that mean? It means shut your mouth or you'll jinx it. <laughs> Why didn't you give her your name? Would you like to reveal your name to someone like her? Good point. I'm gonna take my break now. It's been a while since I've needed a cigarette this badly. So cool. <laughs> All right. Break time. Oof. Not really, I'm just gonna save and drink some more water. Originally I was supposed to cook for my girlfriend, but uh, I told her I was gonna be streaming in 30 minutes and she didn't want me to burn the tacos. So she's like, I'll just buy Popeyes instead. I feel like an ass. It's my fault. Should have gotten back in advance, but I didn't have much time because I had to make sure that the... You know, you always have to do like a 45 to something minute check on the stream to make sure things don't blow up because even if you didn't touch anything from the previous stream, something's bound to blow up. Anyway. Ah, <sighs> God. The stream was brought to you by water from... The tap. <laughs> Hashtag non-spawns. <laughs> God. Okay. So continue to rotate these saves. I they they do the save uh, the save screen in a very like standard visual novel style. Like if you've done if you played visual novels, they all have that one, two, three, four, five, six like labeling at the bottom. But um you still want to rotate saves because you never know if something you're doing affects a decision. Although this game isn't one of those like Oh, if I poured them the right drink, they, they got the, they'll change their dialogue significantly. Like, obviously they'll comment on, oh yeah, this is what I wanted. This is not what I wanted. Here's your flawless service bonus and here's not. I bet you have to do flawless service to get everything for Jill so she has a nice, like, furnished home. But, uh, whatever. Isn't this the best, like... That noise, uh, if you guys have ever played Phoenix Wright, which is like, oh, sorry, Ace Attorney, generally speaking. Uh, I love this noise it makes when it goes to that transition. It just, it feels right. It's like, ah, right. Break time and then back into it. I feel like sound in games is so good. <sighs> ah, the lovely sensation of feeling like you're forgetting something. <laughs> That's me. Commencing simulation, welcome to Valhalla. Uh, who was I? Because you're drunk. Uh, Umemoto. A. Reen. Mm. Dawn approaches because this is the second half, that makes sense. Digital drive. I wonder how I unlock the rest of the songs. I, I'm really curious. <clears throat> and then follow the trail in alternate reality, and re-snowfall. Oh, damn it. Uh, and then, I don't know, I'm just gonna... Da, 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 with Renewed Hope We and uh, Sinistitch. Sure. All done. Feeling better? Fresh air does wonders for you. If you could call cigarette smoke fresh air. I can't judge, I, you know. I don't smoke cigarettes, but, mm. Well, for a given value of fresh, anyway. Oh, we're still talking about the noise. Don't know who that is, so neutral voice. I insist that it sounds like dynamite. Another voice. No, it was too long to be dynamite. Set him like some heavy duty tool. You're a heavy duty tool. <laughs> yes, I am. Wait, that, damn it. <laughs> oh, welcome back. 
Oh. Interesting. What does Betty sound like? <sighs> she looks a little refined, so let's give her a more Ojo-sama type. Oh, ho, ho. I could have sworn this place looked a lot more pink the last time we came. Maybe it's the lighting. Hey, bartender, what did that noise just now sound like to you? Oh, and his name is Deal. That's cool. He look because he looks like a gambler, like a like a you know the guy at the table. What the what are they called? It's not a pit boss, is it? <laughs> anyway, um, so he's, he's a dealer. That's what he is. <sighs> Let's give him a goofy child voice. Well, I see it sounds like construction, but Betty here says it's dynamite or something like that. Not you, too. Eh? Do you think it's dynamite, then? What? N no, I, I say it's a backfire. It's a gunshot. Firecracker! See? Those sounds have been going on all night and we can't figure out what they are. Well, we aren't here to discuss that. We're here to... Um... Who's he? Jillian, nice to meet you. I don't know. You have more of a John face. So there's this, there's this running gag that Jillian looks like a John. Where was he last weekend? I don't know, and I don't care. He already made amends for leaving me to fend off all the dogs. All those dogs. So they were here during the, the meeting, I guess? Anyway, what do you want? Beer. Oh, what the hell? I'll have a beer too. Two beers coming right up. One aldehyde, two bronson extract, one powder delta, two flanerdride, and four carmatrine, all mixed. One. I'm surprised for a bar they don't have it on tap, but, you know, there's an artistry to being a little craft with your beer, right? This is coming from a guy who thinks beer is just piss water, but okay. Here you go. Thank you. I, I'm probably doing her voice. Yeah, that's why it's $200. But you gotta account for the game's inflation, because $80 apparently doesn't go very far. No, that's not true. I had a friend who is like, uh, originally he wasn't much of a beer guy, because, you know, college student, right? Trying to get smashed. But then he's like, you know, I've really grown to appreciate the taste of a good beer. And I, I'm like, all right, sure, I guess. Anyway, all right, I'll keep her Ojo Osama voice, but I know it's not what she actually sounds like. <laughs> Man, after work beer is always the best beer. Yeah. So tell me, bartender. Just call me Jill. Jill, that's a nice name. How's business lately? As usual. Wait, I guess you don't really know what usual means for us. Um, we're not the kind to be filled to the brim during rush hours, and we don't have that many regulars. So, it's just the same. Nothing's changed. I guess when we came here with all the dogs, it was quite the change of pace, huh? You have no idea. So, what brings you here today? I suggested coming here after work. It's Friday. A drink to kick off the weekend is one of those little things that makes life worthwhile. But he did only suggest it after I found him hugging a stuffed corgi in his office. Uh, stuffed corgi? A plushie, not an overfed dog. I see. Wait, you have an office? 
Well, what's weird about that? I thought you'd have a cubicle. Or a kennel? Or kennel. I mean, you don't hear much about office boys getting their own office. It's not hard, considering the rest of the staff doesn't... Oh, don't use chairs or tables. Even I have my own office. So, I'm guessing these are the people from that toy company that was mentioned earlier. Uh, basically, over the weekend before the game starts, there was like a big meeting of corgis, apparently. Like, tuxedo-clad corgis that were just like, pooping all over the place and drinking. So they work for that, it's a toy company, and they, these are like the only humanoid toy people, right? I think the guy on the right, he's a Lilum. At least that's what my guess is, because I'm assuming that's what the robots are, the android people, whatever. I don't know about that. The mess they left in the bathroom usually requires someone with thumbs. Yeah, so Lilums are like, uh, they're the only robot type thing that I've encountered in the game so far. Chairs and tables seem like lesser evils. And you're the veterinarian after all. Oh. She the vet or is he the vet? Or are they both vets? A kennel. What about a kennel? I don't know. I just thought it'd be cute if one day I went to work and they had one waiting for me. Oh, he's a pure boy too. I love it. This game is full of pure boys. Like, like, they saw me as one of them. There we go. Because he, he likes corgis. Okay. Can, can relate. So, wh where did you get that plushie? Oh, I gave it to him. It was my gift last Mega Christmas. Wait, so he got defensive over being caught hugging a gift you gave him? That's the funniest part. He acted like I didn't know he had it. I was just glad he was enjoying it. You know? Why are you two talking like I'm not here? Sad face. Because you're not giving any input anyway. So, how's stuff up at, uh, up at Doglandia? I wonder if she's making up, yeah, it's probably not the name. Well, recently we struck a deal with Farmer Fabrics to start a doggy clothing line. Farmer Fabrics? That name rings a bell. It's that textile company where the owner believes herself to be an alpaca. Right, so that owner also came to the bar. Not during the story, but in a flashback, or like a described flashback. Oh, yeah, that one. We had her here some time ago. She got drunk and... So much saliva everywhere. Oh. But, but anyway, dog clothes? We hired a new employee and she showed the higher up some designs. After a couple of talks, they decided to give the clothing production a try. Those designs were embarrassing, you know? <laughs> but something tells me that's why they were approved. You guys want anything else? I'll have whatever this guy orders. Let's see. I'll have a Brantini. Two Brantinis then. So the reason why the game calls them Brantinis is they were originally Martinis, but the K BTC, whatever, their com the bartending commission, I'm guessing, whatever, not the Bitcoin, wrong, wrong BTC, um, changed the name for one reason or another. I forgot. They explain it in the game. Anyway, that's a Brantini, and here's another one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One. Aged. Mixed. And serve. Here you go. You have such a... Uh... Wimpy taste in drinks, deal. 
not all of us spent their weekends in college partying like maniacs. Actually, not all of us went to college. You miss nothing. Sometimes I wish I could go back in time and kick myself. Hmm... Something on your mind? That girl that's designing the clothes... Laura? What about her? She's cute, but she should take more care in her appearance. I mean, right now she fits the unkempt cutie category so well that it's almost painful. It's so cliché that I can't help but cringe when, I l when looking at her. Cringe? It's like when you see something that's such a cheesy movie cliché. You just feel the need to kick whatever the hell it is. Damn, Betty. K kick? Betty, I didn't think I'd have to say this to you twice in the same month, but... Y you shouldn't kick people. I wasn't gonna kick her. Why'd you think I'd kick her? Because I've seen you kick people before. Apparently unprovoked or due to complicated reasons only you understand. Fine, guilty as charged. Still, I'm gonna do something about her. I feel like I just need to. It's a matter of honor. Honor, she says. Well, maybe honor isn't the right word. But she has potential. And I'm not gonna let her waste it. Jill, I'm gonna go check the antenna on the roof. Alright. She's your boss, right? Didn't you meet her before? Nope. I'm just the veterinarian. The dogs were the ones that organized a meeting with her. I'd say she's really good looking. But honestly, those pants rob her of her charm. What do you mean? I like the boss. And I know that Jill likes the boss. They make her look too... uptight. And at a glance... She doesn't seem like the type. Some shorts or a skirt would fit her better. Yeah, better. Hmm. And then Jill goes to fantasizing about the boss. Well, she wears a skirt or pants depending on her mood. There was also this one time where she came in wearing a kilt. That kilt was awesome! Damn, she has nice hearing. But now that I think about it, you have that hobby of speculating what someone's personality is like based just on their looks. I mean, you did the same with Jill here. Amazing! You actually made that sound weird as hell! Yes, I have the habit of trying to guess someone's behavior based on their looks. No, it's not a hobby. You made that sound like I'm some sort of creep. I, I did? What did you think about me? Nothing much, really. Mostly that you were too polite. Not a natural polite, though. More like a professional polite. You're like that because you need to be. That was it, really. Although the way you looked at me when I said your boss could use a skirt or shorts was interesting. You seemed... interested in what I had... what I said. Like you'd like to see that scenario. You're thinking too much, but it's true. <laughs> what do you think about Jill, then? Have I called him Gil by accident? Because I did this in the beginning. So, Jill and Jill, the male guy, they have the same name and they're pronounced the same way. That's, like, kind of explored early in the game. Hmm. Mm hmm. He's either a total simpleton or acts like one in a way that consumes the rest of his character. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I'm just a veterinarian. My judgment might be clouded by seeing so many furry businessmen. Let's have another round. Sounds like a good idea. I'll have... 
you'll have something strong. You need to pump some testosterone into your taste in drinks. You'll thank me later, trust me. And then... Two strong drinks. Manly drinks. I don't care which ones. Well... You shut up. <laughs> Let's do a suplex. <laughs> That's a cool name of a drink. On the rocks and mixed. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. On the rocks, mix and sleeve. Here. Now drink. See, if I could give it like a little bit more of a bayonetta voice, that would be the best. Cause she's got that mommy British type voice with the teasing like mm, sound, you know what I mean? That's how I imagine Betty to actually be, not so like fake posh. Oh, man up. You'll get used to it. Hey, Jill. Has someone ever proposed to you as a prank? You know, make you think they're falling in love with you just to reveal that it was all a prank? Jill? First year of high school, the guy I had my eyes on for a whole year had asked me out. Saturday morning, I go to the meeting place. What do I find? It was all a prank by some bitches. Ouch. Sorry, I... The worst part isn't that they set me up, but rather that I saw it coming. I knew that guy wouldn't find me attractive enough to ask me out. I knew those bitches would target me sooner or later, just for kicks. I knew it all, so when it all happened, I felt nothing. Aw, Jill. They confirmed my suspicions that teenagers are a plague that must be eradicated. Anyway, why the question? <laughs> hey, piece of scrap. No, she says it more like this. Hey, piece of scrap. Yeah? These are the situations where you should have stopped me before I said anything. It's better to learn by tripping yourself. Why the question, though? Uh, um... I was asking because one of my ex's cousins has been hitting on me the past couple of days. Lost it for a sec, sorry. If it was somebody else, I'd pretend to be straight with the help of this piece of scrap here. Sadly, she knows who I am. Worst part is, knowing Vero, she probably put her cousin up to it as a practical joke. Well, I'd suggest telling the cousin that she should cut it out. If she feels genuinely offended, they might not have been in cahoots. But I'm just spouting nonsense based on what you told me. Don't pay too much attention. It's better than my suggestion. What was yours? Warboarding. I swear? The fact that she knows how to waterboard somebody is what scares me most. The Girl Scouts also taught me how to skin a deer. I see nobody making a fuss about that. But yeah, your advice sounds good enough. Especially when you factor that if Gina's being honest about her, she probably won't feel offended. Gina, which one was that again? Blonde, flat as a cutting board, but cute as a button. Oh yeah, she came to the office Christmas party, right? That's the one. Well, it's getting late, we should be going. Yeah. Thank you again for everything, Jill. Bye. Please come again. Back. Those damn cats moving the internet antenna. Oh yeah, Jill. Some guy said I should tell you that the bunny's late or, or whatever that means. Damn it. Okay. I gotta stop hitting the pop filter. Oh shit. Boss, I'm leaving early. If I don't come back in two days, consider me as good as dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> I love how mysterious Jill is. Shouldn't we be worried? Think of him as a kid that tells outrageous stories to get attention and everything will be easier. Besides, he knows how to take care of himself. Yeah. He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. Hi, baby. In any case, I'll be back in my office. Maybe now I can finish watching that didgeridoo tutorial. Jesus. Hello, Jill. Ah, Stella, you're here for another drink today? Not really. I was just around the neighborhood and... Right. Uh, anyway, I found this bottle being neglected at my house and thought someone who likes old liquor as much as you would appreciate it. Really? I... I don't know what to say. Thanks. Well, it's nothing really. <clears> this <throat> just in. Hmm? The Apollo Trust Bank has locked its doors, leaving about 30 people trapped inside. The security system was activated after somebody tried to steal information from the main database. Earlier this morning, the bank. Oh gods! Say! I wonder if she'll be alright. Uh, hello, Jamie. Good evening, Jill. Did you see the news about the Apollo Trust Bank? The newsflash just ended. Sounds like things got ugly. From what I heard, there was a commotion earlier today. Something about people being unable to leave the building. Let's hope for the best. Yeah. Jill stormed off just a moment ago. A minute ago, though. I see. I guess the bunny was late. He definitely knows what's going on. What can I get you? Give me a Mars Blast. Coming right up. So, yeah, I I think of Jamie as literally he looks like it. You know that one Aussie sounding dude from uh, Mortal Kombat? What was his name again? I think it starts with a T or something, I forget. It ends with an O, I don't know. Probably wrong. Not a big Mars Blast, right? Just a regular one? I don't know. Oi, Sonya, you're looking nice today. You know, like that's that's the creepy guy he is. No, you're thinking Zangief is from Street Fighter. He, he's Russian. <laughs> so we're close, we're close. Anyway, sorry, it's not important. <laughs> One Mars Blast. Yeah, this is the one. Mars Blasts have always seemed poorly named to me. Shouldn't it be red uh, instead of yellowish? Then again, the whole red planet thing is still its nickname. So, how have you been doing? I was working a contract, actually. But the target's inside the Apollo Trust Bank. Figured I'd simply leave him be for now. And then you came for a drink. Yeah. A part of me wants to ask who your target is, but I'm guessing it's a secret. I can tell you that it appears to be part of a power struggle somewhere. Has a target ever made you a counteroffer to go after the one that sent you? They usually don't live long enough. I also don't like it when a target who's seen. Oh, I also don't like it when a target who's seen my face manages to survive. What happened? N nothing. I just suddenly thought. What if someone sent you after me? I'd reject the contract. You would? I don't ask the name of many people, you know. And I always remember those whose names I've asked. They're real in my eyes. I like to know them better, and to some extent, I care about them. So Jamie, even though he's a contract killer, is the sweetest boy. Very polite. I need that because otherwise... Otherwise? Nothing you should concern yourself with. But don't worry. Unless you suddenly find yourself caught in the middle of a power struggle. The only way I see you become entangled up in that kind of mess is if you find yourself too involved with gangs. Thanks for the advice, I guess. 
still, the thought of people hiring others to kill somebody is... Can't wrap my head around that. And I don't want to either. A world can be a dark place, Jill. Say, do you think the people in the bank will be alright? This isn't the first time a bank is closed like that. But something is... off about this. Off? How? I don't know. Maybe it's the hour. Maybe it's the fact that the news is making an unusually big stink out of it. Let's hope I'm just overthinking it. Yeah. Are you worried about something? A girl that was in here yesterday said she was going to that bank. It's not like me to be personally invested in what happens to clients, but... Never mind. Do you want something else? Yeah, I can make time for one more drink. Fetch me a beer. Let's keep it simple. Sure. This is the kind of music I listen to when I'm trying to relax. You want to hit that lo-fi, you know? It's not lo-fi, it's more of a bossa nova, but... Relaxing. Here. I once read that beer played an important part in humanity's history. Yeah, I'm familiar with the theory. It's an interesting one. The gist of it is that brewing was an important part of society during its development. Drinks were ubiquitous while feasting. They helped to foster bonds and build faction alliances. Given enough time and enough beer, larger societies would be born. Also, I don't think she's going to mention it, so I'll say it myself. In older societies, rice wine and beers were easier to obtain than regular water because the water wasn't safe to drink and they couldn't filter it. <laughs> There's your fun fact of the day. Anyway. You seem to know a lot about this. Nah, just enough. Last time you came, you mentioned something about going haywire. What did you mean? I'm intrigued. Have you ever felt like your sanity has slipped right by you? Well, a client earlier tonight was driving me nuts, but aside from that, no. Truth be told, neither have I, but I'm afraid of it happening. How so? I don't know. I just have the lingering fear that at some point I won't be myself. I'll go crazy. I'll wake up a stranger to myself and I won't care. It's just an irrational fear that lingers in me and there's nothing I can do about it. Like the fear of cockroaches for some people. Only, instead of fearing a cr crawling nuisance, you fear a lunacy. Truth be told, same. S something like that. Sometimes I wonder if uploading my brain would solve all these problems. Those problems. Well, that technology is still a ways off. I've heard of a couple of experiments regarding the technology, but it seems everything's still too buggy. If you guys want to play a great game that talks about, like, uploading the consciousness, thanks for the follow, by the way. Um, Soma is a game that explores that in great depth. It's like a little bit of horror, but I would say it's not too horror. It's like... It's a thriller. There's not a lot of gore, but it's very interesting when it talks about uploading your- downloading your consciousness, basically. Uh, highly recommend. Uh, if you had, like, Twitch Prime a while ago, you probably got it for free as well. Um, anyway. I've heard of a couple of experiments, uh, but it's seemed- okay. I'll have to wait until it's safe, then. Until then, don't worry too much about those possibilities unless they're tangible enough. Otherwise- oh, sorry. Otherwise, you're no better than a hypochondriac. Good point. The way you said it makes it sound like less like you- like something you felt- blah. Like something you feel might happen. Something you're just afraid COULD happen at some point. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Does that make you saner? I mean... Were you really on your way to becoming an unhinged maniac? I don't know if you'd think about it at all. Hmm. You might have a point there. Well then, nice talking to you, Jill. Same here. Always a pleasure. Say hello to Jillian for me when he comes back. Please come again. Phew. All done. You want to stay here? Seems the street's quite reckless. Uh, restless. Thanks, but I'll pass. I have a couple of matters to attend to at home.
namely a cat. You do? Yeah, I ordered a nano camo module for my apartment. Should be installed by now. Nano camo? Isn't that a tad expensive? Yep. To be honest, I asked my mom for it. She had been pestering me about what gift I wanted from Mega Christmas for a while. She's been asking that for four years now, and I've always said I was fine. So I took the chance and asked for asked her for it. I used up all the past gifts. See, I don't know if that's a thing that everyone can do, like... My parents stopped surprising me with Christmas gifts a while ago. Like, they'll buy, like, little trinkets, like, cheap things. But generally, when they ask me, like, what I want, I'm like, I don't know. And honestly, I'm worried that you're going to spend more money on it than I could get it for. Like, I, I bid on a lot of stuff on eBay. Definitely think you guys should do that. It's a great hustle. You can save a lot on games, for instance. But, um... Oh, but if you want to support the developer, always buy it brand new. Generally, you know. But, like, I asked my folks for, like, cash or something. Because that cash can be prolonged. I don't know. It's just how I do things. Oh. Feels a bit weird to ask your parents for a gift like that when you're 27. I'm sure she doesn't mind. So, what will the nano camo module change from your apartment? I got the basic plan. Walls in one piece of cloth. So I can pick my kotatsu, too. You have a kotatsu? You know what a kotatsu is, boss? I'm more impressed you know what it is. I'm more impressed you know what it is. I mean, futons are common knowledge, but a kotatsu? Not so much. So for those of you who aren't giant weeaboos like myself, a kotatsu is like the little table that the Japanese families sit around that uh, sometimes they're heated and they rest their legs underneath it. It's like more, uh, you would kneel at them or something or you sit like kind of like cross-legged or you put your legs under generally to keep warm. And it's really like a Christmas thing, like a winter thing. Very Japanese. Literally, I don't know any other culture that like is aware of it. So anyway. Yeah, well, days get cold, and the heater might not be enough. And the Japanese have mastered how to live comfortably in reduced space. That's something I want. I want to live comfortably in a reduced space. Change this stream setup from the monster that some people have seen online into, uh... I don't know, something I want people to see. <laughs> you should invite me sometime. I want to see how you decorate the place with that. Let's plan a day to grab a beer, yeah. Well, I gotta go. See you tomorrow, boss. Careful out there. So I made no mistakes, and I made a 30% commission. That's nice. And she gave me a bonus to get a nice wall pattern or something. I'm doing pretty good on the money, and oh my god, that Popeye sm smells pretty good. Oh, Jill wants to buy a fan even though it's winter. Buying one will prevent her from getting too distracted. So, I kind of figured out what the distraction mechanic is in the game. <clears throat> what it is, is uh, when Jill is serving a drink, normally she'll remind herself what that drink is. But if she's distracted, she'll just say something about something that's going on at home or whatever. She'll like monologue to herself. I didn't realize that at first because it was kind of not that important. What's a nano camo? Something to live up the uh, things in this room. So I'm guessing you can adjust it from this app. Maybe? I don't, yeah, nano camo app. Oh, that's cool! What is what is this? <laughs> Incredible. One, one word. Oh, and I can pick the color. We got some cash. Oh, that's pretty. Damn. Oh, my god. I hope no one saw that. <laughs> um... <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. That was expensive, but you know what? I'm not buying too much. Uh, and she wanted a fan, right? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Before I do any of that stuff, let's let's save and rotate the save. Here, okay. Uh, a fan, 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 fan. Joker Cyclone? Despite the noisy name, it's just a fan. Fans are good though, really good. Okay, so I bought the fan, she's not gonna be distracted. 
Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. Uh, I'll read a few of the headlines or, or whatever from not 4chan. A white knight just beat me up. I'm fucking crying right now. Let me tell you the story. Waiting for OP to deliver. I'm here. Anyway, here it goes. I was going home after buying groceries at the store. I was very tired because I had to line up for hours just to buy milk. And when I'm finally out of the... There, a group of three white knights stopped me and I started asking for my ID. And also wanted to see my bag to check if I wasn't a scalper. And once they saw everything was in order, they asked me for a military service ID and just... What the fuck? Why would I have that on me? And there's no enforced conscription anymore. It doesn't make sense. And because I don't have... Didn't have it on me, they asked for money, or else they'd plant drugs on me. I, of course, refused, but they lose their patience, and one of them hit me right in the temple with a gun. I was bleeding like crazy on the floor, so they just took my groceries and left. Holy shit, man. I fucking hate this place. I hate it so much. I want to leave this fucking hellhole. I'm so tired of this shit every fucking day. Wow, that's, uh... Sounds like a commentary. Oh, and more on Streaming Chan. Streaming Chan went nuts last night. Where the hell is she now? I didn't... I don't even recognize the place she's at right now. Doesn't look pretty either. At least she's getting some rest. What did I miss? Streaming Chan went to Valhalla, got a bit... Oh, she was either already tired or the alcohol got to her somehow. <laughs> it's not like I gave her a fuck ton of alcohol. Uh, got a bit drunk and got the hell out of there all hyper. Tried to steal snacks from a vending machine, but the thing defended itself with an electric shock. I'm gonna marry Streaming Chan. That's freaking nuts. You just don't mess with those things. She fell asleep from the shock. As expected from Streaming Chan, I just... This is such a Japanese phrase. That's, that's Sasuka. <laughs> Sasuka streaming chant. Anyway. I just hope nothing happens to her while she lays there. Falls asleep at a shoddy backstreet in Glitch City. She'll be fine. Now, if her stream follows the, you know, like Twitch rules, it, her stream should like shut off or she'll get reported for falling asleep on stream. Not that I would know anything about that. Anyway. Apollo Bank is being attacked, and no one was reporting on it. Are you actually surprised? Consider the nature of their threats. It's clear that Quincy doesn't want to take- There are too many groups in this thing. God, oh, I don't remember who Quincy is. What a fucking coward. Do we have any sources there? I'm posting from the site. It looks like someone's inside the bank with a huge bomb threatening to blow up the building. Any demands? They want Quincy to quit and the White Knights disbanded. Wow. So they're actually helping the protesters? Um, that's not the way to help the people. What if this is just a huge false flag to blame the opposition? I wouldn't be surprised, this fucking place, lol. Let's wait for more info. And then a little bit from the Augmented Eye. Alarms rise as the Apollo Trust Bank suffers terrorist attack. Updating by Kimberly Lavalette. Hijack screens at downtown Casanova announced what seems to be a terrorist threat aimed at the Apollo Trust Bank. The information suggests that a currently unidentified bomber is already inside the building. The White Knight's counterterrorism unit responded to the threat immediately. However, the bank was then locked down by an, an external network attack. We might be dealing with a dual threat here, CTU's Chloe Bauer told AE. The bank has been sealed shut using it, its own disaster prevention system. However, none of the terminals at the bank were working at the time. The building is se basically sealed at this point. The hostages are trapped. The Augmented Eye is being attacked by AE staff. Hi everyone, we take your security seriously here at the Augments and I, and we have the obligation to disclose that recent articles on Alice Rabbit were vandalized by who we think is Alice Rabbit themselves, or a very good impersonator. We want to extend our apologies and inform that we'll be limiting our coverage of Alice Rabbit to just factual news and not entertainment pieces. Sincerely, the AE staff. Sounds like they actually got strong-armed and lost it. Pollution to reach historic levels next year. Ah, topical by Kimberly Lavellette. Thank you. Um, Even though most countries in the world have adapted their e economies to solve the ongoing problem of climate change, Glitch City still relies on ancient technologies in order to keep costs low with profits high. As a result of this backwards policy, it seems as though we'll be experiencing a huge increase in air pollution next year. Our contamination levels will force the whole population to move away from a lot of areas within the city. The soil is dying at an alarming pace, said experts in a report. Having to buy special raincoats and umbrellas does suck, but experts say you better get used to it. So, this is not a... Um... Pollution or whatever shill, but here's my thoughts on the subject. 
I've always thought that pollution kind of sucks because like, yeah, we live on this planet, you know? Like, I don't, I didn't need to be motivated by things like, oh, we're all gonna die if we complete, like, keep polluting and stuff like that. Because, like, dude, that's like garbage in the streets that we're all walking, you know? Like, damn. Like, here's a species that no longer exists because of what we've done. Anyway, sorry, that got really political for a minute, but it's just like, I don't think you need your own life to be at risk to not be, like, shitty to the earth, you know? That's just how I feel. Anyway, let's just scroll through the Kiramiki blog because... I don't know. Oh, I love this place. So much energy, so much love, I could feel the optimism in the air. Even after all the struggles, you still came to see me and I got to experience the loudest and craziest crowd in my whole career. I'm beyond speechless. That said, I'm excited to announce that we'll have a second date in the city. It won't- it wasn't easy to set up, but I'm so happy my agency approved it. This was by far our biggest show and I can't wait to experience it again. See you soon, my darlings. Love, Miki. Um, and she did all this already uh, earlier, so I'm gonna save once more. Don't need to rotate here because I did the thing. And then we'll go- we'll probably go to work and get to the next save, and that'll probably be the end of the stream because it'll be around uh, 9.30 then. Good evening. Huh? I didn't expect you today. I was waiting for you to call and say you wouldn't be coming or something. Things at the Apollo Bank are getting ugly, so that means more people will be looking for a drink. What a dedicated employee. If only I had such a work ethic. <sighs> you can take a break, you know. You're quite the hard worker. And the streets are not exactly safe right now. They've never been when you get down to it. And besides, I can't afford to not come with the bar closing soon. I wonder if any bar has used impending closure as a means of getting their employees to work. The answer is yes. Literally any company, like, will continue... Like, with in the gaming industry right now, we... Like, I, I, get, I hope you guys have noticed, like, Twitterverse is blowing up. A lot of layoffs, and it's really terrible, because... People from big companies, from small companies, they're all, like... Not getting enough time. Blizzard is especially, right, Blizzard is especially guilty of this, so fuck them. I feel like EA has been guilty, because EA is just a bad company. Um, even, even a distributor like Good Old Games lost like, what was it, 12 employees? That really sucked. Like, Good Old Games is not a big company, and I really like what they're doing uh, when it when it came to porting old games, they make games that like a part of gaming history available for people to continue to enjoy. That sounds a little like weird, like a little dramatic. But Steam needs competitors, otherwise they're gonna have a monopoly because Origins sure as heck not doing it. Um, and, and you know, uh, what's it? It's Epic's Epic Store is not there yet. They're just getting there. I think Amazon uh, slash Twitch as a distribution is a thing, but they're also still having trouble gaining traction. Um, Discord is releasing games or distributing them. Anyway, if you guys like know anyone in the industry, like reach out, uh, make sure you support them. Really important. Um, these people also got families too, you know? Anyway. Seems like the total opposite would happen. Not to mention I got bored out of my brains in my apartment, so I'd rather come here anyway. What'd you say? Nothing important. Jill isn't back yet? Nope. I wouldn't worry too much about him, though. If you say so. Say, what's this bottle? A client gave it to me yesterday. A gift of sorts, I'm guessing. Oh, cool. It's some sort of rum. Rum? Nice! Want me to serve you a bit of it? Hmm... Yeah, sure. Let's give boss some rum. Go to the bottle, drinks, drag it to the shaker before mixing. Here. That was easy. All right. I'm gonna enjoy this in my office. Thanks. 
Any sign. Okay, then. Music. Two. 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 Uh, boop. Scoop. Shoop. Poop. Poop. Moop. Loop. Oop. Sorry. <laughs> Don't know why that needed a sound effect. Time to serve, mix, and change lives. Wait. Is that right? Yeah, okay. Wait, that's not how it goes. <sighs> no one here to retort. Man, it feels lonely without Jewel here. I just hope the restlessness in the streets doesn't lead to dangerous or weird types coming in here. And... Good evening. I don't know why I did a Yoda, but let's just keep going. Holy shit, that was a record-breaking jinx! W welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? I'll have a blue fairy. Don't make a joke about becoming real. Don't make a joke about becoming real. On it. Let's give this some brain a blue fairy. One, two, three, four, one. And then, I don't know, some more alcohol. Aged, mixed, so Eve. Here you go. Oh, he's got a surprisingly nor normal. Nice. Yeah, this is the thing. Oh, actually, no, no, no. I know what I want to do. I'm going to give the the brain the, the 80s, 90s anime voiceover. Nice. Yeah, this is the thing. Sorry. I, I'm getting there. Give me a sec. So, um, how are you going to... Oh, you can grab stuff. Should have figured as much. You can drink stuff? And eat. I have the same system Lilum do. Oh, it's a girl. Can I ask you something? Um, er, miss... <laughs> Her name is Taylor. Okay. How do I do this? I'm gonna stick with that anime like anime 80s voice but like maybe adjust inflection a little bit call me taylor just taylor and yes a cutie like you can ask me anything okay taylor you have to be the first person i've met that didn't go okay just taylor nah too easy you are a brain in a jar, right? I'm sure not a hologram of that, I'm sure. Yep, I'm a bona fide human brain in a jar. I need a bit more like surfer bro, give me a sec. So, how, why? Why? Does, so is it a girl or a guy? Jeez, oh my god, my brain hurts. <laughs> um, what? Does my handsomeness make you speechless? You're not something a girl sees every day, and that's saying quite a bit in these parts. Fear not, for I have a speech prepared for these situations. A speech? You're seeing one of the five great living bottled brains of the world. We're brains living in conditions that allow us to exist as any other humanoid creature. There, I got it. All while computers in our jar scan our activities. In a slow but steady manner, we're helping the world understand the inner workings of a nature's most complex computer. All right. I'm guessing you prepared that after being asked the same question too many times, huh? Not out of exasperation or anything like that, mind you. I just wanted to see... Oh, jeez. 
I don't know why I slip into like a southern type thing sometimes. I just wanted to see to have something thoughtful prepared. Look, I even have a couple of pamphlets with me. You want one? Sure. What brings one of our world's five brains in a jar to this place, though? To this place, though. Shit. Oh, I'm from around here, actually. I just wanted to take a walk for the first time in quite a bit of time. Have you come here before? Sadly, no. Otherwise, I'd remember a cute face like yours. If I could wink, I would. Speaking of which, can I have your name? Um, it's Jill. Right on. Jill, that's a really cute name. Thank you. Say, weren't you scared of going outside today? What with the commotion going around and all? It didn't stop you from coming here either, did it? Yeah, you're right. It's gonna take more than cryptic but ominous news to stop me. I'm Taylor. <laughs> Jeez. You're awfully energetic, did you know that? Sorry, does that bother you? No, not at all. Just that I figured a brain in a jar wouldn't be so... happy. Well, that's a little presumptuous. While I was alive, my body got to a point where there wasn't much I could do. This new state of existence allows me to accomplish more than I ever could before. Plus, I'm doing something that'll help people in the long run. Wouldn't you be happy? I wonder. Do you want to make me happy, Jill? Depends on what it takes. Don't worry, just give me a beer. Alright, then yeah, I'll make you happy. And mix. Here, a beer. Ah, yes. No matter what happens, beer's always good. Hey, Taylor, may I ask something a bit... indiscreet? You can ask anything you want. While you had your other body, were you male or female? Hmm, <clears throat> that's actually quite the question. Especially considering I don't really know the answer either. You don't? I mean, I remember my name was Taylor. In fact, I remember every detail of my life. See, I'm doing it again. Of my life. That, the one thing that's a bit blurry. Blurry? Yeah, the team that put me here said that it might be a side effect of the whole process. But my family and friends say that even in life, I didn't put too much thought into questions about gender. So we're coming into more um, non-binary representation, which I think this game has been really subtle and good about. I think it's really important that they don't like shoehorn those characters in. Too many games, especially indie games, like I, I get it. Like some of the devs are, are LGBTQ, they're queer, whatever, I'm gonna say queer. But like when especially big companies use queer characters, they feel like they're being used and it's not really like the, functional for the plot. I always worry about that. Anyway, not important. <laughs> important, but not important right now. Oh, come on. <laughs> so, in the world, we're back to, uh, so in the end, we're back to square one. Wait, don't you have picks or anything else? To be honest, I've chosen not to look too deeply into my old identity. Partly because I'm happier in this ambiguous state. But also because I have this gut feeling I'm not psychologically prepared to see what I look like. And we're going deep. I don't know. I feel like if I do, I might... crumble. Damn. Just out of curiosity, in a third-person scenario, how should one refer to you? By my name. Yeah. Guess that makes sense. If you absolutely need to use pronouns, refer to me like you'd refer to any other house appliance. A TV or anything like that. And it. Are you okay with that? In the end, even if I can't speak, I'm just an object. 
That's actually something I've internalized a long time ago. Even with my original body. I... I see. If that doesn't make you comfortable, feel free to use neutral pronouns. To be honest, you could refer to me however you want. I don't really pay mind to that. So yeah, this is... This is what I was talking about, the dialogue feels a little, like, explanatory. But that's okay. You know what? N not, not enough, like... Zay Zim Ziz type characters. G. You... For those of you that know, you know. Whatever. But this isn't about what makes me comfortable. You know what the downside of this body is? I can't get drunk. If you want to call that a downside. If you wanted to drink alcohol for the taste, there are many alternatives. Drunkenness is part of the whole experience. Why though? Lilum can get drunk with no problem. Yeah, but in their case, their brain's a computer attached to their body. Getting drunk causes their brains to reduce the input speed to their bodies. Depending on the model, their drunk subroutine might throw in a different behavioral cycle even. It's hard to get drunk when the whole point of you being in a jar is figuring out exactly how you work. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Jill! Oh, sorry. Alma, she has like a kind of also uppity Ojo-sama type voice. Uh, I think I need to differentiate these characters a bit more. There's so many of them. Oh, Alma. Just oh, Alma? Where's the courtesy one would expect from plebeian bar staff? Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? Happy? <laughs> Not when you put it that way. Why, hello there, beautiful. Hmm? Whoa! You hurt my feelings with that, darling. S -s -s Sorry. You don't see talking disembodied brains every day. I mean, I did work a summer in Lilla Maintenance, but even then, those were talking heads. Oh, don't worry about it. At least you're not running or fainting. Your name was Alma, right? I'm Taylor. <laughs> nice to meet you, Taylor. Say, Alma, can I buy you a drink? Sorry, I only date people who are at least 50% organic and have at least one face. Hmm. I know just what to strive for then. Just kidding. It make me happy to make you happy by buying you a drink. Does that bother you? I guess if Jill's the bartender, I don't have a problem with that. Does that translate to you like making her work? Awesome! I'll pay for your next drink then. What will you have? I'll have a cobalt velvet. And you, Taylor? I'm fine, actually. You're gonna have me drink alone? I don't want to drink that much. See, I'm losing that cheese. <sighs> okay, then. Two aldehyde. Three, 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 three. Three flanner tide. One, two, three, four, five. All in the rocks mixed. Your drink, madame. Hope you enjoy it. You know, you've been nicer to me these past minutes than at least three guys have been in the last year. Judging from the way you talk, I'm guessing you've been a client here for a while now, right? Only for about half a year or so, if memory serves right. Really? One would think it's been longer. <sighs> it feels like it's been longer. You know, the stream is always going strong until I tuck her out, and uh... <sighs> we're, in the, we're in the final stretch anyway, why, why, why lose steam now? <laughs> Thanks for checking in. Shut up, you love me and you know it. So, you just started coming here and that was it? Well, the first time I came here, the other guy... Speaking of which, where's Pablo? Jillian. Archimedes. Dunno. <laughs> Adventuring or something. 
Anyways, the other guy served me the first time I came here. Nothing unusual there. Next time I showed up, Jill here was the one serving and... I don't know. I feel like she just gets me. There's this... chemistry. We... click. Oh man, see, the music here is so good because it fits really well with so many different scenarios. We click, she says. The fact that I feel more chemistry with her than with many other people is kind of sad, though. It's always good to see a nice friendship. Sadly, it's getting late and I've got to go. I'll leave you two lovely ladies alone. See ya! Bye. Please come again. That tailor sure was nice. A bit weird at first, though. Apparently one of five brains being studied by scientists or something. There's a summary of it in this pamphlet. Let's see. Oh yeah, I've heard of them before. Can't believe I actually met one. Say, Alma, how many people are there in your family? Just curious. Well, aside from my mom and dad, we're five si- Sorry, four sisters and one brother. Transitioning? Funnily enough, we all have names that start with the first five letters in the alphabet. So you're the eldest one? No, I'm actually the middle kid. You're the middle kid, but your name starts with an A? Don't think too much about it. I never said the other order reflected our ages. My sister Carlotta is the eldest one, and then there's Diana just before me. Then comes Eva, and at the bottom lies Bella... Ahem, <clears throat> sorry. The youngest one is Bernardo. You've never been alone, I'm guessing. Can't complain about that, I guess. It helps that we never five in the same house. Oh. It helps that we were never five in the same house. By the time Eva... Oh, wow, the way they say the names. By the time Evita and Bernie were born, Diana and Carlotta had already moved. Speaking of family, today I came because I needed a break from everything that's been going on with them. Do you live with them? No, but Evita and Ber Bernie do. Not to mention I visit them almost every day. Anyway, my second eldest sister, Diana, just separated from her husband. It's not even been a week, but she's already got some other guy in her bed. She left her kid with her husband's parents and pretty much forgot about them. Never mind the fact that they need to go to school and all that. Damn. Diana's life has always been messy, but these days she's really making it big. She wants time for herself, to live her life. She didn't think about that when she married the guy at 20. She didn't think about that when marrying a guy she had only known for like three months. You should take your own advice. Hey, I'd never marry any, marry someone who could catch my attention so quickly, okay? Sure, there was that one time when it almost happened, but I blamed the damn stadium kiss cam. Kiss cam? I was going out with a guy my little sister introduced me to. Seems he was her friend's brother or something. We went out a couple of times and he invited me to a basketball game. The mood was nice, but then later, the kiss cam focused on us, and instead of kissing me, he proposed! I almost got caught in the mood and accepted. Huh. So I take it you rejected him in a stadium on the fucking kiss cam. We went out for like three weeks! I don't know, maybe he wanted to get in my pants with the old sex on the wedding night line. But I honest to god can't understand why you thought it would be a good idea. That sounds too convoluted, you know? Proposing and waiting for the wedding night just for sex? Never underestimate the lengths a man is willing to go to get you in their bed. I've seen more convoluted plots over the years. Um, I'm feeling something to ask, but I'll pass. Want anything else? Hmm? What's that bottle? Oh yeah, it's just some rum a client gave me yesterday. A gift? What did you do? A good enough service, I'm guessing. C-K? Huh. Interesting name. What does it mean? Kasik's the name... I, I'm gonna say Kasik, okay. Kasik's the name of the chieftain in some native tribes. 
I see. Do you want me to serve you some of this? I'll pass. I don't have too many good memories where rum's involved. Get me a fringe weaver instead, will you? Alright. Wonder what's up with her and rum. But anyways, let's just give her a fringe weaver. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Aged, mixed. So here's one thing that I noticed about the Fringe Weaver. It's a highly alcoholic drink with hardly any sugar. That might as well be like, that's harder than vodka. One Fringe Weaver. What kind of memories do you have with rum? Nothing you need to worry about. Okay. All right, now's my turn to ask questions, though I didn't answer many. About what? What kind of family is your family? Well, I'm an only child. My mom and my dad split amicably. My mom is a violinist, so she was always away from home with the orchestra. I spent most of my time with my dad, my aunt, and my grandpa. Aside from that, I'd say my childhood was quite uneventful. Huh. Didn't you get something like your mom's artistic vein or something? I played the violin until I was around 16, I think. What made you stop? I don't know, I just kind of said, that's it, one day, and stopped. What about cousins or the rest of your family? I see very little of them, actually. Mainly because my dad moved away from most of them. Most of my mom's family live in France to boot. So this is where it kind of comes to, like, Jill is half French or something. So your mom's French? Yep. Can you speak French? I'm gonna butcher this because French was not the language I studied in high school. <sighs> Mon Eric Lisseur est plein d'anglais. Sounds like... <laughs> Everybody's a critic. <laughs> so it probably translates to like, I'm better at speaking plain English or whatever. Ooh, what does that mean? Rubbish? I don't know, I can't speak French. <laughs> glad, I, glad I didn't take that too seriously. I did try though, but college started and I stopped taking classes. Funny thing, I actually have a cousin from my mom's side that lives close by. But you'll be hard pressed to make me spot him in a crowd. You're kinda lucky, you know? All of my mom's side of the family lives here. The chances of me meeting someone I'm related to on the street are ridiculously high. But yeah, that's the primer on my family. Nothing too interesting, sadly. Your mom's a French violinist, and you call that uninteresting? I'm wondering if your family has ever made a fuss about you being a hacker. Hacker makes it sound too exotic. It's like if I called you a mixologist. Please don't. Ever. Sounds like something somebody would say to make bartender sound sophisticated. See? I mean, hacker is a good way to summarize it, but it's not the best. I'm a security consultant. People want to find flaws in the security of their systems, and I do my best to pinpoint where it breaks. Be it Glitch City or anywhere else in the world, they need security. I'm their woman. You've twice told uh. <laughs> You've told quite a few stories about cracking the databases to retrieve info like some sort of mercenary, though. Okay. <laughs> Are you okay? And that doesn't change the fact that hacker is not the best term to use. It makes the whole thing sound illegal when it's actually an honest job. Didn't you tell me you once secured some incriminating pics from a guy's cell phone? A mostly honest job. Sheesh. What made you become a hacker by the, uh, by the way? I've always been a sucker for puzzles. Even as a kid, I always had a Sudoku or crossword with me. But at some point, they started feeling kind of samey. So when I started college, I took a course on system security. It felt like the kind of puzzle I was looking for. I mean, there are all kinds of things involved in breaching net security. You need to attack the stuff from different angles. And it's something that's always evolving. The whole point of everything is to strengthen security. Every time you think you've got the gist of it, 
to change everything. So it's kind of like an always evolving puzzle. A puzzle I help make harder at that. Huh, I didn't think about it that way. It is less action-y than what movies make it up to be, though. No real-time frantic typing, nothing like that. Still, seeing my code break through something. It's an amazing feeling. Will you have anything else? Hmm, I'll have a classy drink. Any classy drink. Here goes nothing. You get a bad touch, too. Here you are. Yep, just what I needed. Thanks. Say, Jill, what's the worst that could happen if you don't get your drinks right? Well, people have the right to not give me money. If they don't pay for it, I don't get my bonus. No bonus means less money and no tips, which doesn't help because I have to pay bills. Oh, sorry, she said like this. No bonus means less money and no tips, which doesn't help because I have to pay bills. Oh, I see. Do you have to make an effort to pay your bills? Nope. You have no idea how much I hate you right now. Same. Well, my job pays pretty well, and I'm not the kind to spend too much on things other than food and bills. Maybe maintenance on my hands and new equipment, but aside from that... Oh, I know! If you have trouble with your bills, why not live with me? We could be roommates! Dunno. Move my stuff through the stairs because the elevator's broken having to move my liquor collection. Never mind the fact that my cat's a shut-in that got, got very upset the one time I moved some furniture around. I'm so here for this cat culture. Love it. Love cats. The idea of moving just gives me a headache. You shouldn't take things so seriously when I say them, you know? I don't, but I've thought about it before. Now, I need some air. I'm gonna take my break. You wanna come? Are you inviting me to the back of the bar? You should invite me to dinner first. Every minute you waste making jokes is time taken from my break. Fine, let's go. Boss, I'm taking my break. Call me if anyone comes in. Sure, sure. I know, that's where I edit. We're three minutes past. But I'm gonna take a minute to speak with the chat, at least make a note, because today was Honestly, great. Um, no, closing the game. Okay. So, so, let's take a look at... First off, uh, I know probably a bunch of you guys came over from the TSAN um, group, which, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Uh, more importantly, I, I have never gotten this, like, like, basically this traction ever this is like by by and far my most successful stream um and it really makes it feel like i've been working towards it uh you know more or less it doesn't even matter how many viewers i have like at this very second the fact that i had some chat interaction and people following for that matter super dope so i'm gonna spend like just a second to like note the people that a said they were gonna host me and people who just subscribed. So uh we got in order uh sorry, in backwards order of appearance, so later than earlier. Abby Shores and Jay Zu Chu and then It's a me, Luciano. Thank you so much. Uh I hope you get a chance to tune in, in the future, and I'll be sure to look you guys up. I know how important it is that uh, small streamers like us uh, support each other. Anyway, this was the the Bishido Pretty Boy stream. I uh, will be back tomorrow. I was also thinking of taking off Fridays because uh, I want to use that time maybe to shoot YouTube videos instead. I'll let you guys know closer if you follow me on Twitter. Uh, at Way of the Bishi. Anyway, that's it. Stay pretty, y'all. Bye.